everybody and welcome to another stream here on youtube.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini. That's me, I'm Johnny Chiodini. And that outside is a man with a circular saw. That's just a thing that's been happening. All day. I thought they were done digging up the road outside, but now they've found an entirely new bit of road to dig up. Um, but hi everyone. Um, this is a painting stream, uh, which is what we normally do on a Monday. Uh, we haven't actually done one for a little while. Um... Uh, what are we going to be painting today? Well, thanks to uh, tremendous uh, viewer and patron Alex Simpkin, um, we have, goodness me, so many miniatures to choose from. We've got um, basically a whole host of Oxventure miniatures to paint up. We've got, I'll talk you through them all. As you can, you know, probably biggest, you can see. Uh, You've got Egbert there. We've got Corazon, all your favourites. Big old beard on Corazon. I kind of, because Andy keeps his beard so close, I never really think of Corazon having a big beard, but there you go. Uh, there's Dob, the half orc bard. Uh, these were with the Hammer of Ethelfrith. These were all made on um, Hero Forge and then printed out and very kindly sent to my P.O. box. And I thought to myself, it would be rude of me not to do a stream with these. So here's Prudence. Uh, we also have Werebear Prudence. <laughs> so literally in the middle of casting an Eldritch Blast as a bear, which is pretty rad. Uh, of course, then we have Meryl Wen here. Um, and then, what do you mean we've still got loads more? Well, we've got, obviously, some of you have already noticed, we've got um, Seal Gaiman there. Uh, Egbert's faithful companion. Um, I am delighted to inform you we've got Binbag the Wizard here. There he is, with a staff and a big beard, ready to annoy everyone. Um, we've got Rust on the Harbour, um, complete with rapier and rakish attitude. Um, and like weird mutton chop sideburns. Rust, I'm not gonna lie, Rust looks like Rust has just stepped out of the live action version of Cats. About which I have some conflicted feelings, but that's fine. Um, we've got Katie Pearlhead here. Uh, sans pearl head, but uh, very much with the threatening look of uh, a thief queen. Um, we've got, this is one of my absolute favourites. Um, we've got Bismuth the Crone, who lives at Necropolis on Sea. Complete with staff and crow, cr crone, crow, the crone. Um, we've got Hengist, who is uh, a dwarf, who is the first ever PC I actually played, the only PC I played in the Oxventure, uh, who's been very badly primed, actually. Today was not a good day for using a rattle can. It's been very wet here. And uh, we've finally got Terrible Jake, who you may remember from... Um, from a werewolf stream, but also kind of from a live show. So, that is a whole lot of, of miniatures. I think you'll agree. We're not... I mean, we haven't even got all of them in shot. There's no way we're going to get through all of them on the stream. But I may as well try. So, um, who should we paint up first? I realise chat's about to be flooded now, but the annoying thing is, when you make a poll in uh, YouTube, you can only give it like four options, which is really irritating. Anyway, uh, Megan M has done a super sticker of um, a lemon with arms and legs and a fabulous sense of dress, because it's kind of running along and then going like, blah, and revealing a cape that looks like a like lemon segments. Um, but it could be, it could just be that actually the, the, the lemon person is flaying themselves, kind of like a blood eagle. A um, lot of people saying bismuth. Bismuth? Yeah, all right, fine. Bismuth it is. That's the, not the one I expected us to be starting with. But uh, I'm very happy to start with with old old Bismuth. Let me just have a good look at the, the, the mini here and work out what's what. All right, let's crack in. I was about to say let's crack into uh, to Bismuth the Crone. I don't think that's a good idea. Um, but yeah, so thank you very much to Alex Simkin for, uh, for sending those into the P.O. box. Uh, I also... Uh, rather excitingly, <laughs> have a new water pot, which, hang on, I'm going to hold it up to this camera so you can see, it's got these weird nubs in the bottom. It's called a paint puck, and it's got this weird thing at the top. It's it's like H.R. Geiger got a job at the Early Learning Centre, is how I've been describing this, but you know what, it's a fucking great paint pot. 
so I've been really enjoying using that. Um, thanks to RV Dammit for sending that in. Um, and uh, yeah, I've, to be honest with you, I've had quite a lot come through to the um, the PO box, and I've been very lax about thanking people. So thank you to Sarah Burke for the uh, dice bag, uh, to Murasaki Tatsu for the very intriguing board gam, and then uh, also somebody sent me a pack of wild boar playing cards, and I don't know who it is that sent them in. So if it was you, uh, reveal yourself that I may thank you, because uh, they're amazing. Right. Okie dokie. So, I'll tell you, one of the amazing things about about this thing, which is uh, being described as a marital aid designed by David Cronenberg, thank you so much for that chat, is that, right, you wash your brush, and then you can, like, there's these little things here, so you can kind of remove water from it, but then you can hang your brushes upside down, and it's amazing, because the water drains out of them. It's an absolute delight. Um... Lisa Hunt has done a super sticker. It's of some kind of coin or possibly ball with a um, with a star on it and some sort of spangly bits. Thank you very much, Lisa. Um, but yeah, I hope everyone is very, very well. Sorry I wasn't around last week. I took the week off. Um, let me get some paints out and then we will be... Uh, we will be... Ah, Lisa Hunt says one gold piece for rust next. Very clever. I like that a lot. Um, I was very confused, but then you explained it, and I'm no longer confused. Um, Okie dokie. So, we're going to start off by painting Bismuth's skin. For those of you who aren't familiar with the Oxventure, um, firstly, hats off to you for watching this. But uh, secondly, um, Bismuth is a crone who is, like, unspeakably old, who is the keeper of a dread place called Necropolis on Sea. Um... And uh, because she's really old, I think her skin probably looks like a really sallow purple. So that's what we're going with. Um, uh, it, yeah, it's it's heavy warm grey if you're buying it from Vallejo. But as Will correctly says, all in caps, it's Rakarth flesh time. Yes, 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 yes. Um, Aiden Folk says, recovering from Comic-Con. It was so busy. Comic-Con was so busy. My God. Uh, yeah, we did a live Oxventure, so it wasn't the most restful week off. In fact, it was a shit week off. Um, but uh, there you go. Um, uh, the the live Oxventure was very good fun. I can't wait for it to go live. No spoilers if you have seen it, please. Cookie Cat ninety four has kicked us off in true style with a super sticker of the giant pear, the pear kaiju. Uh, that's got arms and legs and a face and a penchant for blood because it's got a mug of the stuff and it keeps repeatedly thrusting it toward me as if to say, look upon my works, I've got a mug of blood. It's quite alarming, really. Um, and then Nick Jeffries on a super chat saying, Johnny, my dog ate a whole bag of Scrabble tiles and he's now at the vet. No word yet. Gets me thinking, why is it a vet and not an infirmary? <sighs> whole bag of Scrabble tiles, he's at the vet. No word yet. Very strong. Okay. Um, let's go. Um, I did quite a lot of painting in the last couple of days, uh, just because it's good to distract me when my head is in the bin. And uh, you know what? Every day's a school day. I feel like I'm still. I've still got so much to learn when it comes to painting miniatures, because uh, a I'd underpainted the things I was painting for the first time in ages. I haven't bothered underpainting things for so long um so i was ended up using my palette slightly differently and really putting on the paint in very careful thin layers and i felt like it I felt like i'd learned what a wet palette was for for the first time despite the fact i've been using one for years uh, it's very odd how that goes but that's the exciting thing about a hobby is that sometimes you'll be like oh, i'm just going to do this thing and then you're like oh that's a whole new thing i've realized that's fun so it was good but anyway, less about me. Um, uh, oh, wow. Wings of Eternia says, does Bith Bismuth have skin or just a light sheen over her bones and veins? I think she has got skin, but it's like, uh, you know, like when um, greaseproof paper uh, comes out the oven and it's like really thin and just brittle and crisp. It's, it's, it's like that, basically. Uh, anyway, how are you all, chat? What have you been up to recently? Are you hobbying along? If so, what are you hobbying with? Um, this arm is weird. 
This arm is so weird. Has it got like a thing attached to it apart from a crow? What is that? Unless it's like a cybernetic arm. <gasps> I think it might be. I think, oh my God, that's such a good detail. I'm pretty sure, I know you, you'll struggle to see this, but oh, especially with the fucking focus on this camera, but you can see this arm is quite thick up here. I'll paint it metal if you can see it later. There's like a piston here. It Because bismuth is really creaky and makes kind of like noises. So like we kind of, she then sort of morphed into a transformer and at one point turned into a jet. So it's canon that she can transform. So therefore you'd expect her to have cybernetic bits. What an amazing detail. Very good. Uh... Alex Simpkin says apologies for the bismuth model. It broke when I took it off the plate. Seems fine to me. Seems absolutely fine. I've not noticed anything wrong with it. And anyway, it's bismuth. She's meant to break. Um, Patrick Long has done a super sticker of uh, one gold piece. Um, thank you very much, Patrick. I will add that to uh, the pile of coins that are... Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, accumulating uh, for me to paint rust next. Let's see. Is that all the skin she has on show, they said? I'm almost certainly going to regret that. It's not like I want Bismuth to show loads of skin. It's just that I was surprised to be done painting that particular part of the model so soon. God damn it. Here they come. Here I can, I can already hear chat typing furiously. Uh, there we go, let Bismuth be slutty if she wants. I'm not chastising Bismuth for the way she dresses. Goodness me. Uh, Talman has done a super chat saying, Hey Johnny and pals, maybe off topic, but one of my partners is exploring their gender, and I wanted to ask what resources anyone might recommend. Thank you so much. Ooh, um, that is a um, a good question. Uh, chat, I think you're probably going to have more, um, more resources than I have at my fingertips, to be honest, because I... Basically, I ended up talking to my my gender about a friend who is um, non-binary and they sort of helped me work it all out. There weren't really many online resources I looked at, so um, chat, if you could pitch in, that would be lovely. Um, while I look for the... Terracotta. That's what I'm after. Okay. <laughs> Bis, bit bizlesque. That's dreadful. Happy Jack says, "Wish I was hobbying. Currently working, processing applications for public service student loan debt forgiveness. Get them in before October, people. Yes, do bloody well do that. Get that shit forgiven. Um, you're doing important work, Jack. I'm sorry that you're not hobbying as you would ideally like, but." That is a good thing to be doing, nonetheless. Um, Charlie Dyer is on a super chat saying, Oxventer inspired my love of D&D, &D, which has helped my mental health at work, so we'll watch VOD with my girlfriend Rebecca while we paint later. See you then. Um, thank you very much for the super chat and the kind words, Charlie. Um, and I will see you later. In fact, hopefully you're seeing this now. In which case, hello again, Charlie, and hi, Rebecca. Um, I hope you have a wonderful time watching this here live stream Corvus Albright's on Super Chat saying origin haiku for origin haiku time the first haiku I ever drunkenly sent to someone I've, I thought that was I thought that was um, actually a, the haiku origin haiku for origin haiku time it's the first haiku I ever drunkenly sent to someone you're hot we should bone I suck at haiku piña colada Wow, Corvus. And how did that go? Where did 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 they uh did they did you bone? <laughs> there was no there was no um there was no uh, good way for me to to phrase that question. Uh, there was, I'm sure, but I didn't find it. Uh was your haiku a success? Um cuz if you're talking about the the, uh, the syllable structure, no, but did it help you achieve your aim? Uh, 
you're currently being um, being pulled up on using the word bone. So there we go. Uh, oh wow, um, Mitty Tyler. I hope I said that right. Has done an absolutely massive super chat, which is very very kind and generous. Um, and thoroughly appreciated. It reads, Hey Johnny, hope you're well. I wanted to send this across to you as a thank you. You and your videos have helped me so much recently with my anxiety and uh, DPDR, and so I hope you can treat yourself to something nice with it, uh, with this, Matty. Matty, that's wonderful. Thank you very much. Um, that is extremely generous. Um, and yeah, truly greatly appreciated. Um, I am glad that the videos have been um, of assistance. Um, long may that continue. Um, and I hope, yeah, I hope your anxiety and, and DPD are, uh, are on an even keel right now. Because it's never good when one's mental health is turbulent. I can tell you that for nothing. Um, but thank you again, Matty. That's really, really generous. Um, uh, da -da -da -da. Oh, blimey, I'm way behind. Um, Stephen Hoy is on Super Chat saying, Just submitted my master's thesis after a long, grim night of editing. This stream is exactly what I need right now to relax. Cheers, Johnny. Well done, Stephen. Congratulations. That is um, absolutely fantastic. Um, I hope it goes over extremely well, and I hope you manage to relax nicely. Um, I can thoroughly recommend, if you haven't heard it before, uh, the song When I Write My Master's Thesis by John K. Sampson who's like one of the best songwriters going. Uh, it's just, I, it's you might find it cathartic, to be perfectly honest with you. So give that a go. Um, Beelzebub is Fly has done a uh, super chat with no message attached. If there was meant to be one, just let me know and I will read it out with all the fanfare that I, I would reserve for the super chat in general. Um, Nick Jeffrey's done another super chat saying... Without Ox Venture, I wouldn't be part of this amazing Skelly community, Johnny. I discovered you through the shows and met you the first time at the Vault. Yeah, the Vault Festival show was good fun. Um, I enjoyed it very, very much. It was the first live show we ever did, and it was terrifying. But it, I would like to think it started something. So that's good. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, Corvus Albright says, I would have been shocked had it worked, but it, I got the lols, and that was the real goal. Okay. All right. The lols are the real goal. Sure. We should bone. <laughs> oh. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. So that's... Oh, this is like a belt with a side thing. So then that's sort of a... So that needs to be that color as well. Okay, great. We've got kind of earth, earthy homespun colors for bismuth. Uh, although she seems to have some sort of feather ruff up here, which is bismuth. That's uh, that's classy. She's a classy dame. Okay, I'm getting getting to grips with this mini now. I'm starting to work out what's going to be what colour, uh, which means that we should speed up the process a little bit. Uh, which is great, because if I am painting Rust, he's got leopard spots. I've never done those before, and I'm absolutely terrified of the idea. So, wee! We can all look forward to that one. Okay, so there we go. That's that done. We need a darker brown, which is dryad bark, which is here. Um, I've actually been painting at the kitchen table for the last few days. So I had to sort of move my setup back in here today, which is why so many of my paints are exactly where uh, I'm reaching for, because I know where they are, which is strange. Uh, Will says, sending you my Leopard Spot tutorial on Discord now. Thank you, Will. I will have a look in the event that Rust does come up, which I think is highly likely. Um, <laughs> um, Monk, uh, Googly Eyes Skull has done a haiku. Will you marry me? Sorry, um, I mean hello. Get you a drink, love. Yes, it worked, but lols mainly. There we go. Um, uh, la 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 la. And Cooking Out 94 has done a super chat saying, Does Necropolis on sea get snow in winter? If so, it would make bismuth a snow crone. <laughs> um, it does, it gets ashfall. That's what it gets. So, like in winter. Necropolis on Sea looks all 
festive and snowy and, and stuff like that. But uh, no, it's just ash. Um, take from that what you will. There's no discernible source. It's just um, it just turns up. I don't know if that's actually been said out loud canonically, but I certainly feel it to be true. So there we go. Let's see now. Okay, absolutely whiffling through these colours today. There you are. Great. Excuse me. Shaswat Sharma says, so seasonal volcanic eruptions. Well, the weird thing is, I powerfully believe in my heart of hearts. You know, like, like I've never said, I don't think I've said any of this out loud. Or, and I may not have even thought about it, but I just know for certain that like there isn't a volcano on Necropolis on sea. There's no crematorium either. It's just that the ash turns up and falls. Like, there's no explanation. It's just a thing that happens. There is no local thing that would explain it, basically. Mm, those are probably meant to be a different colour to the... Oh, well. Zandri Dust. Zandri Dust. Get on business, his legs. Katronica says, we had a week in AL this year. Alabama? Al -al 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 Albuquerque? Alsace-Lorraine? Um, anyway, in AL this year, where we had snow and 24 degrees centigrade weather in the same three-day period. Oh, AL is in Alberta? Alabama? It is Alabama. Okay. I should have I should have really um not second guess myself then. Um Wow, snow and twenty four degrees centigrade is terrifying. Nice planet we've got. Can't wait for future generations to inherit it. Ooh. Um Alex Simpkin has done a super chat saying thank you for this amazing stream. Thank you for the amazing miniatures, frankly, Alex. Uh, I want to share my fan theory. Egbert is now immortal due to Liliana using the clone spell to make the other birds. That's interesting. Hmm. Hmm. I don't feel like I should say anything either way. Hmm. Oh, Alberta is AB. Oh, S. Puffington says Alcatraz. Welcome to the rock. Um, I swear I saw something. I was gonna have a there. Uh, no, can't remember. <laughs> Will says, not to sound like a capricious fae, we're back on the sex haiku, everyone. Uh, but if I was to send someone a smutty haiku and they were like, yep, let's go get your kit off, off the back of it, I might go off them? Question mark. I think I would certainly have a moment of like, oh, well, that happened, swiftly, you know? Like, I, I think I would be a little worried. But then also, like, I don't know. Because no one sends those things without at least a little glimmer of hope that it will lead somewhere. Like, if someone was like, do, do get better chat-up lines. You know, talk to me when you've got a better one. No. Nako the Kitty says, uh, Johnny, question... Does Mike know what Egbert's done that needs atonement, or is this a nebulous thing you all will sort out later? Oh no, it's been it's been written down since day one. I know what it is. Mike knows what it is. No one else knows what it is. It exists, all right. There are a couple of clues out there if you know where to look. No. Anyway, um. Oh, is board game? Oh, board game. Game Yogi is in the chat saying, Psst, "Who is getting their butt painted?" Bismuth. This is Bizbutt. Bismuth's butt. Bizbutt. Uh, Tom Turrington has done a super chat saying, "I just want to say that I love the Ox team and you too, Johnny, and the chat too." Thank you, Tom. Tom Titherington. You've always had a very pleasing name to say. Never change. Um. 
Uh, but hello to Board Game Yogi. I hope you're well. Congrats again on a two year stream anniversary lately. Um, it is good to see you in chat. I'm painting a crow white. Why are you doing that, Johnny? Crows aren't white. Shut up, I say. <laughs> Firstly, they can be. Um, but second, I've got a plan. It mostly in involves Black Templar contrast paint, which it turns out is very good. Uh, Zed Scruffy has done a super chat saying, Lost my job last month, taking a break from slinging my resume all over town to finally watch the stream live and work on my backlog of Gundam models. Um, I'm very sorry to hear the news, Zed Scruffy, um, and all the more grateful that you decided to actually send me some money, given the circumstances. Um, thank you for the super chat, I really appreciate it. Uh, and I hope your resume slinging um, pays off very soon. Either way, it sounds like a very good idea to take some time and work on some Gundam and just generally be kind to yourself. Um, I hope you find gainful and fulfilling employment very, very soon. So there. Right, there we go, we can do that. And also, I'm going to take this time to paint this skull here. Paint that ivory. Frodo Baggins says, or is it just a milky penguin? Wow, a milky penguin. Sounds like either a biscuit that's been dunked too long or just something hideous that lives in uh, Antarctica. We may never know. Simon Brough just done a super chat saying, Love the show last week. Great job from everyone. Great audience. Can't wait to watch it back. Also, nice meeting you quickly and thanks for the pin. You're very welcome. It was... Um, I had to rush from the show, like literally, I was going to, well, the plan was that we were all going to go for dinner, but I had to run because Watson had a bit of a, a funny tummy uh, over, not this weekend, just gone, but the weekend before when we did the live show. Uh, so while she was being looked after, um, she's not very good at like agreeing to go to the toilet when it's not either me or my wife taking her out. So I was like, I've got to get home. The was like, I've got to run. The dog probably needs to poo. And that's why I missed out on dinner. I mean, I ate dinner. I say dinner at home. So, it's fine. Um, but there we go. Will says, Milky Penguin is great to say in your best Ross Kemp. The thing is, the thing is with Ross Kemp, he always says things in threes. So, I'm trying to think of two things to say before that. I'm at the zoo. And they've got... A milky penguin. Oh, that's good. Milky penguin is an outside extra reference. Oh, okay. It's from Show of the Weekend. Curses, I've been tricked into referencing them again. It's horrible, lovely people. Uh, Ify has done a super sticker of um, the, uh, the, the murderous pair. The pair has... Seemingly, uh, it's, it's either sated its bloodlust or it's planning to kill again. Because right now it's being very coy. And it's kind of going like, ooh. <laughs> As if to say, did I really do that? Did I really murder someone and fill a mug with blood? There we go. Um, Sarah Burke says, Johnny, you make the painting look so easy. I've been mini painting and it's so hard but so much fun. I bloody love doing it. And it, I, to be honest with you, I think it is just practice at this point. I've been doing it since 2017. For a lot of time, I like I don't know how many. I've certainly put in over a thousand hours into painting now. Surely, um, you just sort of learn little shortcuts every now and then. But um, I'm glad that you're enjoying it either way. Um, uh, ruh, da, 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 da. Uh, Dylan Armadak has done a super chat. Um, it is blank. Uh, Dylan, if there is something you wanted to say uh, that got missed off there, just let me know and I will uh, read it out. Uh, Thomas Ogden has done a super chat, uh, which says, Hey Johnny, as always, love everything you do. What's going on with cooking with Chiodini? Such a good question. <laughs> Such a good question. Only the first one is public on the channel at the moment. So, the thing is, right, the plan was, do an episode of, of cooking with Chiodini. Let it go out on Patreon. 
next time I do an episode of Cooking with Chiedini, put that one live. Uh, put this the next one out on the Patreon. After that, do another one on Patreon. Put that one live. And that's where we're in trouble, because the third episode of Cooking with Chiedini has been in production since September of last year, because I just have such a tremendous mental block on it. Uh, I literally cannot bring myself to work on it, uh, which is part of just it's a it's a whole it's become a whole anxiety hang up for me. Um, I think basically uh, I'm going to work on some stuff this week and next week I'm going to announce um, some little changes that come into the Patreon, which I'm actually really excited about. Um, they won't affect tier prices or anything like that, uh, but as part of that, this won't come as a surprise probably to many people. I'm probably just going to quietly kill off cooking with Giardini because I've only managed to make two episodes in over a year and that's not great um so I would rather do something that I can make more consistently like I've had fun like dicking around like with the, the food videos with with Joe Scrabbles for example um but in terms of that format um I'm probably going to leave it there um I brought it back and I was like surely if I only do six a year I'll be able to do it um, I was wrong, basically. Um, but the nice thing about Patreon is that you can be flexible with these things and you can change stuff if uh, your tiers aren't working for you. Um, that's uh, Patreon tears, like a tiered cake. Not like crying, salty, salty tears. Uh, but anyway, the second episode of Cooking with Chiedini will go live on the channel, which is going to be awkward because a lot of people are going to be like, oh my god, it's back, when's the next one? They'll have to be like, there is, there won't be one. But that's the that's the reality of it. There you go. Um, so, uh, da, da, da. Uh, Timothy Thomas has done a super chat saying, "Hey Johnny, here's some money for the Pale Sand Fund." Honk honk honk. And this stream giving me some much needed motivation with a little boar remote. Thank you very much, Timothy. Um, that is very kind. Um, here's the Pale Sand. Ask and you shall receive. And by receive, I mean be allowed to look at it. This is mine. No one, no one's taking my Pale Sand from me. Uh, but thank you. It is um, uh, a delightful, delightful paint that I've just realised is referred to as paint 007, which is the one thing I don't like about pale sand now. But apart from that, it's a, a wonderful, wonderful paint. So thank you very much, Timothy, for basically funding my next three or four bottles of it. Um, Eto Perinka has... Uh, oh no, the pair has killed again. Uh, Eta Perinka has done a super sticker of the pair. The pair is, uh, as you're surely familiar with the the the, plat the, the plateau, the scene, the um, what's the word I'm looking for here? It's not plateau. The um, not, it's like picture, but it's like it's like that word if you're a tosser. Um, anyway, the 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 scenario. Uh, the pair is standing in a remove, as if to say, I'm not going to hurt you. And then it thrusts a big mug full of what can only be blood towards the screen, as if to say, but I am dangerous. Uh, so thank you very much for bringing that uh, to us. Tableau! Tableau, not plateau. Thank you very much, everybody. Um, and then, right, I'm almost caught up on... Um, on um, uh, The chat... Grumsons has done a super chat saying, I'm drinking Italian beer in your honour, Johnny. Also, does anyone know why both Sicily and Isle of Man have terrifying flags with three legs on them? Uh, so that you know not to fuck with either Sicily or the Isle of Man. It's that simple. Um, uh, the, the flag of Gallarati, which is where my great-grandfather came from, so it's sort of the origins of, of well, you know, my, my family... Uh, in Italy, uh, the the crest is like a little castle and a crown, and it's a fucking cockerel that's ready to like the kick, kick the shit out of someone else's shins, which makes me quite happy. Um, anyway, right, more paint, more paint, bismuth, bismuth, bismuth. Uh, Mrs. Treeman says I'm sending out a present for you today. I'm sure when it will get there via international shipping. That's very kind. Thank you. Um, I will let you know when it arrives. Uh, I'm pleased to say that the um, the actually delivering stuff to my door bit of the PO box is now working, so I no longer am sat there being like, "Is there, is there anything? Should I do? I have to go all the way to the place?" Uh, so I will be able to let you know. Uh, 
Mm -mm. Oh, Dylan Arbidex says, uh, Johnny, you missed the thing I tried to super chat. Hold on, everybody. I'm going to go hunt that down. Dylan Armadec. Dylan Armadec. Yeah, oh, with me now, Dylan Armadec. Here we go. Dylan Armadec has done a super chat, which in an ideal world would read. Hi, Johnny and pals. I'm currently watching this to mitigate freaking out while I send novel queries out to agents, hoping one of them will want to publish my fantasy book. Sorry, I'm bad at super chats. That's all right. You know what? You've been putting your energies into other things, like, for example, writing a whole... A whole mumpin novel. Um, that's really impressive. I I am working on something that could be referred to as a novel. I don't want to jinx myself. Um, and you know what? It's, it's not easy going. Even though I'm finding this easier to write than anything I've written in my life, I still haven't been able to work on it for a couple of... Mm, maybe three or four months now. Um, so to carve out that time and get it done and also... Summon the courage to send it out to people. Um, that is no small feat. So you should feel very proud of yourself. Um, and I hope it all comes comes good. Um, Dylan says, I don't know why YouTube won't let me super chat words. Not going to lie. Are you using an ad blocker? Because if you are, it often doesn't let you. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not saying you are using an ad blocker. I'm just saying that that is one of the documented ways that uh, super chatting can go wrong. Um, Alex Simpkin says, Ox Venture novel? Uh, oh, gosh. Um, I don't actually own the IP. So, um, the rights to it um, belong to uh, Read Pop, which is, uh, I think, probably. Um, it depends on the terms of outside Xbox and Extras contracts. Um, but when I worked there, uh, anything I created as part of... Um, part of my time working there uh, was the property of the company, intellectually. So uh, it's why, for example, uh, Chiedini's Kitchen became Cooking with Chiedini, briefly, on my channel when I left. Um, um, <laughs> the Nice Switch says, now I can't stop singing Dylan Armadec's name. Hell of an earworm. It's good, isn't it? I said, dear, learn, Armadec. I said, dear, learn, Armadec. So I'm not saying an Oxventure novel couldn't, like, happen. I'm just saying that if I wrote it, I would have to be under license from read. But it's weird. It's a whole weird thing. Contrast Black Templar. And folks, it sounds like every contract I've had as a software developer. Yeah, it's it like it is a very common thing that just like what what you make while you work there ain't yours if you make it in work hours or using company property. So, there we go. Do, do, do. Oops. Sorry, just changing the music up. There we go. Faye and Tired, what a username. Faye and Tired is on a super chat saying, Hey Johnny and LSPs, to thank you and everyone on the Discord for being here after my very recent and messy firing. This is from my first commission as a thank you for saving me from a dark place. Um, Faye and Tired, I'm very, very glad that... Um, the community was um, able to help. Um, and, you know, I'm sorry that uh, the firing was so messy. That is not fun for bloody well... Well, for, for well, I was about to say for anybody. Fuck everyone else. That's not fun for you at all. Um, and uh, I'm very glad that we could help. Uh, and congrats on the commission. May it be the first of many, 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 many. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. That's too much. That's too much going on the crow. Spread it around. Jack Wood says, Blampy Tampy is a very good paint. <laughs> honest, honest to God, like, sometimes I will walk into the painting channel or the wargaming channel on the Discord and I'll be like, what the fuck? fuck is everyone talking about and it's like i it's like i can almost understand this like i know i like i don't actually i don't know these fucking words but they sound familiar and it's sometimes it will be like 
you know, I'd be like, oh yeah, oh I can't, I can't wait to paint up the the one one eight diesel powered boss hog, and I'm like, what are you talking about? And they'll be like, oh, it's a squig. I'll be like, what? <laughs> but uh, Blampy, Blampy Tempy is Black Templar is very funny. So I'm not, I'm not saying, uh, I'm not saying, uh, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying that. My God, sometimes I can't even. I can't. I can't even. But you know what? Um, I wouldn't change you lot for the world. Um. Simon Bruce has done a super chat saying, I recommend everyone check out If I Understood You Correctly Would I Have This Look On My Face by Alan Alder discussing improving communication. Hmm. Um, I, I can also recommend The West Wing, seasons six and seven. Can I? Hmm. I can, I can recommend them as, as, as being part of the legacy of, of a, a good television show. That works. They're not as good as the first five seasons, but the West Wing seasons six and seven feature Alan Alder. So if you want to see Alan Alder, you can do that. Good. Also, MASH, I guess. Um, God Convoy is on a super chat saying Oxventure miniatures in a future video. Also, how and where are these models from? Um, okay, so the last bit first. Alex Simpkin... Um, uh, designed these on Hero Forge and then downloaded the files and then printed them off uh, and then mailed them to my PO box, which is incredibly kind. Uh, as for Oxventure Miniatures in a future video, like, we're, we're kind of doing it now. Um, so may maybe there'd be something in the future, but I don't really know. Um, we've had a lot of, like, I say we, like, I know that the crew has had a lot of miniatures sent to them in the past from people, but um, uh, this is the first lot I've ever directly got my hands on. Actually, that's not true. Somebody made a me in Hero Forge and painted it up once years ago, and it's up there. But um, uh, there we go. Shaz the Great and Powerful says, so did everybody enjoy the Jubilee, are you all, or are you all filthy Republican communists who hate the UK? Um, uh, it was fucking shit, Shaz. <laughs> it was embarrassing and grim, uh, and it was honestly distasteful. To see, um, just like, just these, these, uh, uh, like, unelected people just coming out and being like, please clap, povos, um, when there's a cost of living crisis going on and so many people are living below the poverty line and, uh, food bank usage has continued to rise over the last, um, 10, 12 years, which, um, is, uh, ooh, uh, that time frame coincides with something. It'll come to me in a minute. Um, but anyway... Uh, it was fucking shocking. I made a point of being miserable all weekend. Uh, but now it's over. Um, and it's just another day. Or is it? Let's let's find out if by the end of this stream we still have a fucking Prime Minister, lol. Um, not a great time to be in or anywhere near this country is what I would say. But anyway. Um, we'll, uh, we'll, whoop. Well, that will, um, we'll draw a line under that one. Um, because I don't want to talk or think about the structure of this country anymore. <sighs> there we go. There we go. And breathe. Um, Lucy Mama says, whenever I think about the West Wing, I think of my government teacher showing us the first episode and asking me if I liked it. When I said I did, he said, I thought you would, and nothing else. Ooh. Mm. That's one of those teacher memories that really sticks with you, isn't it? Like, where you're like, I think I know what they meant. I think I know what they meant by that. Or I think I know why they said that to me just then. But also I'm going to be puzzling that out for the rest of my life. You know? I will say, though, um, uh, la last thing I'll say about the... Um, uh, the the royal fucking family is that uh, a friend asked me to paint uh, to print this off with my 3d printer um over the weekend and i was very happy to oblige it's uh queen elizabeth ii in a sort of tank throne mech thing um 
which is going to be uh, the mascot for his uh, Blood Bowl team, which is um, mummies, uh, but they're called the Hittish Museum. So there we go. Ruthie Pinion says, I cut all my hair off today. Ooh, Ruthie. Incredible. Did you do it yourself? Did you go to a place or... Um, t tell us of this new bob, if it indeed is a bob. Haircut. Right. Uh, let us shade bismuth. Yep, that's right. There we go. There we go. Now you're looking more sort of corpulent, aren't you, bismuth? Oh, we haven't painted your piston arm silver. I'll do that in a second. Yes, yeah. Plenty, plenty, plenty of Agrax Earth shade on bismuth. Uh, have I shaken this enough? Is it going to go glossy? Motherfucker. I've really fallen out with um, Agrax Earth shade recently. It just seems like it goes gloss, even if I shake it for a hundred thousand years, which is annoying. But anyway, mm -mm 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 -mm. um, says, "Isn't the queen over a hundred at this point?" No. Uh, when did she die? I mean, between six and nine months ago. So, what, 97 or something? I don't know. That was a joke. Allegedly, the Queen isn't dead. Who knows? Uh, God Convoy has done... Oh, God Convoy has done a super chat saying, I meant miniatures used during an adventure. Um, no. Uh, as much as I think people have sent miniatures in in the hopes that we would start using them, uh, I don't like them. Um, they are like I just don't like using them I prefer theatre of the mind because um, A it, I feel like it makes for a better show when we don't have to then be like and here are the miniatures and we're going to start moving those around it adds an extra element in production and I actually feel like it takes away from the excitement and the fun and it slows things down but also in my personal um, experience when miniatures hit the deck and there's a battle map and stuff people stop imagining things and they just go and they start just eyeballing stuff and trying to see how many inches they are apart. Um, they're just not. They're just not for me. Um, more power to people who do use them. But um, yeah, we're not using them in a future adventure, regrettably. But these are like these are great for like mascots and stuff. Um. So, that's bismuth. I think we can call bismuth done there. There's probably some highlighting I could do, but. Uh, there we go. Right. So, bismuth. Done. Um, and it only took 48 minutes. That's a lot longer than I thought. Um, oh, in the cutscenes instead of stock footage, that would also take far too long. I mean, I'm not... I'm, I don't edit the Oxventures. Um, but I know that they're already pretty intense. Um, uh, um, yeah. Uh, sorry to shoot these ideas down, but um, that's, uh, that's just the way we go. Right, I'm looking at this leopard print thing now. If you open original. Are we doing rust? Are we doing rust? Does everyone want rust? Um, okay, so base coat that. Yeah, make it sort of orangey. Layer it up. Oh, and then just paint the rest of the things. <laughs> oh my god. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie, Will. This guy does somewhat fall into the just paint the rest of the fucking owl uh, <laughs> type of tutorial. Layer up, right, layer up the skin. Got it. Layer, layer it up from like a base orange to like some good different bits and then just get in there with the rhinox hide and do the spots. Okay, got it. <laughs> Draw the rest of the fucking owl. <laughs> you want to paint little C shapes over it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware that leopard spots don't always join right up. So, okay, let's do this. Let's do Rust on the Harbour. Um, who is very yellowish 
Uh, where has he gone? Here he is. Uh, I need to pull up a picture of Rust, actually. Rust on the Halbel. Rust on the Halbel Adventure. There we go. There he is. Okay. Okay. Blue trousers, brown waistcoat, white shirt. Okay. Right, right, right. We're good. Uh, weekend minis is on a super chat saying, Good morning, Johnny. So sorry to hear your week off. Uh, the Start that again. Good morning, Johnny. So sorry to hear your week off wasn't great. I hope the lovely LSPs talk about butts to make your Monday great. Well, I look forward to painting with you on VOD this weekend. Um, that's very kind. Thank you, Weekend Minis. Oh, Weekend Minis. It's all in the username. Um, and uh, uh, yes, thank you very, very, very much. Uh, I look forward to painting with you on VOD this weekend. In fact, if you're watching this now, it likely is the weekend. Gosh, that week went fast. Because I thought it was Monday when I started this. But um, I'm sure the LSPs will talk about butts very, very soon. And it will be a delight. So, what do we need here? We need some dark blues. I don't know I had this many contrast paints. It's weird. Aha, that's the blue for rust trousers. There we go. And then we need sort of a burgundy. Burgundy? Which we will go with, not Blood for the Blood God, no, 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 not Miles Dacker Red, not Mephiston Red. Hi everyone, welcome back to another edition of Non-Binary Person Looks for Paints in a Big Box that is not well organised. Today we're looking for Screamer Pink. Where's it gone? There it is! Hope you enjoyed this episode of Non-Binary Person Looks for Paints in a Box. ta da 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 Okay. Oh, we need some more. Ivory we've got on the deck already. We need a lighter blue. That should be easy to get. There we go. There's Adamant Blue. That needs shaking up. Yep, fine. Um, and then, of course, we need some yellows. So, we will go with... Golden Yellow. We'll also go with Phalanx Yellow. There we go. All right, we've got our paint. You can see them just down here. Um, is that any good? No, it still needs to go up for my hands, doesn't it? There we go. Uh oh. Um, uh, Christ, I've got to catch up on a whole bunch of super chats. You people are sneaky, sneaky. Um, Adam G has done a super chat saying. Uh, Johnny, do you plan your colour schemes in advance or as you go? I've only recently started it for heroes and named characters and found it helps me a lot. I have actually started... No, I've, I do I do kind of plan things out. I pick colours and I'm like, I hope this works and I'll do a test model. Um, but yeah, I try... I try to plan them out um, as much as possible. Sometimes um, there'll be a detail I missed and I'll be like, oh, what colour should that be? And I'll make a snap decision in the moment. But for, for the most part, um, yeah, I plan all the way. It just, yeah, it helps me a lot too, to be honest. Uh, oh, Dylan Armadex says, I'm proud to say my novel does contain fantasy butts. I'm sold. So I'm not a publishing house, but hell, I'll put it out. Um, uh, um, 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 um. Will says, Screamer Pink is more red than you think and not as pink as you want. I know, yeah. Um, it's a phenomenally poorly named paint. Mrs. Treeman has done a super sticker. The super sticker depicts a peach. However, utilising not only artful shading, but the fact that a peach quite naturally resembles a butt, um, this sticker looks remarkably like a lovely bum. It's a nice peachy butt. Uh, Ify has done a super chat saying, in my D&D game, the current bad guy is called Rum. But players keep calling him Rust. So I've been looking up which colours dragons can come in. Hello, one gold dragon. That's amazing. Um, uh, thank you very much for the super chat as well. And then Thunder Cookie has done a super sticker. Now stick with me on this one. The super sticker depicts a peach. But the funny thing about peaches is that they have this sort of naturally occurring shape with sort of a, sort of a cleft in the middle that really remarkably resembles the shape of, of, of human buttocks. Um, what's more, this sticker is kind of, it's got shading to it, which kind of artfully 
it enhances, shall we say, the the illusion that this sticker is not actually of a peach, but is in fact of a lovely bum. Thank you, Thunder Cookie, for that super sticker. Um, okay, and then Burrito has done a super chat saying, Hi Johnny, I hope you're feeling better this week. Glad to have you back. It's nice to be back, Burrito. Thank you very much. Um, uh, yeah, it's nice to just crack on with some work, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, um, yeah, that's about the size of it, really. Right, there we go. Let's get some of this paint down on the palette. And then... Let's paint up rust on the haber. Hello, you cheeky little tabaxi. You're wearing your three-quarter length trousers. Oops. Not to completely Danny Dyer this, but it does completely do my nut every time I remember that Rust on the Harbour is in a video game. Um, is in Idol Champions of the Forgotten Realms. The Idol D&D &D Adventure Clicker video game. I feel like the design team absolutely nailed it. I haven't checked out a review, though. I remember checking out a review of... Um, of the ones that had already been released, so Prudence and Corazon. And I remember seeing one that was like, Corazon is a terrible pick for your party. It's like, only use him if you really love the character, because he's a trash tier support. And I was like, wow, fucking hell. Anonymous says, is Rust wearing jorts? No, Rust isn't wearing jorts. Rust is wearing some finely tailored... Um, not jorts. How dare you? I've been so insulted in all my life. Hmm, what's this? Huh. The nice witch says, uh, I, I stream exclusively on Twitch, but I won't do the self promo in someone else's stream. Ha ha ha. Well, that's weird. Is that the same Nice Witch who streams on twitch.tv forward slash the Nice Witch? T H E E Nice Witch? I could, I could swear they're the same person. That if you go to twitch.tv forward slash the Nice Witch, you'll. Yeah, well, no, yeah, yeah. Will says, I believe that's twitch.tv forward slash the Nice Witch. Yeah, it must be the same. Must be the same person. There you go. Huh. Oh, wow. Hmm. Gosh, it's almost like we uh, we like to lift up our uh, talented friends. <laughs> oh, you know what? Rust doesn't actually have okay the tail and the legs. Okay, but Rust Rust doesn't have much skin on show either on this particular model. Also, I see I've left this ivory for too long on the palette, and it has gone all watery, which is annoying. So in that case, fuck it. Will says, and speaking of our talented friends, you know who else is good? Jack Wood. That's weird. Yeah. It, wait, hold on a minute. Jack Wood. I've heard of them. Is that the same Jack Wood that streams on Twitch under twitch.tv forward slash Thambo Jack? Because I'm pretty sure I've, I've, I've tuned into one or two of their streams and they're really good fun. At least I think. Hmm. I'm not sure. Jack, can you, can you confirm with me that it's twitch.tv forward slash Thambo Jack? That's the URL? Weird. Hmm. Adam G says, are you using a wet palette? You know I am, Adam G. There it is. Don't know why I had to say it quite so lasciviously, if I'm perfectly honest. But I've had some time off, and I guess I'm just trying to find my feet without being weird about it. Anyway, welcome back to number... Never mind, I found it. Pale Sand, everybody. Welcome back, Pale Sand. Um, Alex Tannenbaum... Tannenbaum, sorry. You must get that all the time. Alex Tannenbaum... I've done a super chat saying, I tried to make a tabaxi inspired by Rust, but my French accent sounded like a weird mix of Spanish, English, and choking on marbles. Gave that up. Sounds like a perfectly cromulent accent to me. Alex, you, I respect your decision to drop it, but also I would have bloody loved to hear that. Uh, incidentally, there was one time I took over DMing a, a campaign. It was a campaign in which I was playing as Rust. Uh, for one week, I took over as a guest DM, and I ran a session... And introduced a, a, an ogre called Yvette, which is just Steve backwards. 
uh, and I gave him a Welsh accent, um, which at the time I was just like, I'll give him a Welsh accent, sure, why not? And then I forgot that, like, then I had to give back the campaign to my friend who has a very strong Irish accent. Um, and I don't know if you've ever heard a person with a very strong Irish accent tries to do a very strong Welsh accent, but it's very funny. <laughs> I do still feel quite bad about it because he was like, oh, I can't do this. And was clearly like get a bit in his own head about it. But I was like, oh, no. <laughs> There's a bit of schadenfreude from me, to be honest. Right, so that's a bit of... <laughs> Dylan Armadek has tried to do another super chat. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know what you were trying to say, Dylan. <laughs> I adm I admire your commitment to trying to super chat. <laughs> uh, I really appreciate it, genuinely. Uh, Will says, Johnny, I'm deeply in love with the idea of borrowing someone else's campaign and just throwing in a random landmine for them. Yup. I felt a little bit that way with the, the braces that Luke threw in to uh, the Oxventure. Dylan says, I turned off the ad blocker. Oh, Dylan was using an ad blocker. How about that? Um, another super chat. Thank you, LS... Uh, sorry. Thank you, Johnny and the LSPs for the support. I'll be sure to tell everyone once my book, Fantasy Butts, and all is available. P.S. From my money dummy, Thick Orc... Thick... Thick Orc is best butt in my book. Oh, wait. I'll say that. I'll, I'll try that again. P.S. For my money, dummy Thick Orc is best butt in my book. There you go. Oh, have we... We've been stealthily talking about who's got the best butts in, like, D&D. &D. That's an interesting one. God, where do we even begin? <laughs> Dylan Novadex says, I'm, I'm petulantly turning ad blocker back on. Fair enough. Lucantheus says, my half-orc does not have best butt. Oh, who does in your campaign then, Lucantheus? Lisa Hunt says, Hengist, best butt in Oxventure? He's probably right up there. K. Bray Warren says, egg butt. Yep. Yeah, you've got to, you've got to assume egg butt's got. Got a badonkadonk. Faye and Tide says, nothing beats a tabaxi, but it's thick and soft. I kind of feel like tabaxis don't have much going on back there. Soft, yes, but large? Mm, no, not really. I'm just seeing haunches. I mean, look, it got, you know, God love rust on the harbour, but it's flat. It's being hidden by his arms, but it's just, there's nothing. He's straight up, straight down. The Nice Witch says, one day Johnny's going to have to do a tier list stream where we go through fantasy franchise and figure out who truly has the best ass. Oh, you mean like doing it with a board and like brackets? Well, that could be kind of great. I'll do it. Fuck it, I'll do it. I'll get real drunk and we can talk about fantasy, but why not? Can't just paint miniatures all my life. Just gonna have to get hammered in the middle of the day and talk about bums. It just makes sense. Angel Beat says a tabaxi's butt is as flat as geth. That is one of the best super chats I've ever received, and one of the truest. Uh, thank you, Angel Beat, for for that delightful comparison. Lovely flat geth. I. Yeah. I love how fast and loose we play with enormous bits of canon like that. Just because just it's funny? No spoilers, but there's a great bit of that coming up at some point soon in the Oxventures future. Just saying. Um, wow! Corvus Albright um, is, is, is being fiscally horny on main by sending a super chat saying I would 100% send a proposition haiku to Liliana 
Blimey, O'Reilly. Corvus, don't super chat it because I'm not in the I'm not gonna try and trick you into doing another super chat. Just type it normally, but write write that haiku. What what is it? Because I don't think we should bone is gonna work on Liliana. You know? Just saying. Anonymous says, if Geth is canonically flat, is there a round Geth society? Yeah, you mean round Gethers? Yeah, losers. No one actually pays attention to what they say, though, obviously. Ooh, Geth round. Okay, mate. Yeah, cool, nice one. Ooh, round Geth. Stephen Hoy says, why would you put it like that, Johnny? Exactly. Why would anyone put it like that? I'm saying it wouldn't work. Tree Man is on Super Chat saying, a contribution toward the Booty Talk drinking stream. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm not even going to try and monetize that one. Yeah, we'll try and find a good, a good, I mean, is there any, ever a bad time for this stream? But we'll try and find a suitable time slot for it. Um, God Convoy has done a super chat saying, with a the peach emoji, the peach emoji, right? It's kind of like the peach super sticker. It's definitely of a peach. But there's just something in the presentation, whether it's kind of the, the rendering of the natural shape of the peach or the shading it's been given or the, the hue they've chosen, but it looks like a human butt. And it's peach emoji venture, like ass venture or peach venture or butt venture. You know? Cookiecat94 says, are we talking flat like paper or cube? I'll never tell. So there. Right. Okay. So we've done that. Uh, Rust's neckerchief is a bright blue. And then we need the screamer pink there. Oh, there's a brown waistcoat. Okay. All right. Fine, fine, fine. So it is brown. Okay. Right. Cool, cool. Okay, Corvus Albright says, shoot my shot haiku for shoot my shot haiku time. A night of passion. Elector cute me, mummy. We'll sub for Drow Mage. Wow. I mean, I, I literally asked you to write that. And then I read it out of my own volition. That's, you know what? It, never has a shot been... So, so passionately shut. Goodness me. S. Poffington says, I don't know if Markiplier can sexualize 900 Pokemon and still be monetized. I think Johnny can get away with it with some hobbits and elves. Ooh, maybe I don't want to get away with it. Ooh. Um... Gosh, I really feel like we've got to know Corvus Albright today. Like, really got to know Corvus Albright today. Corvus says, you asked, Johnny Dearest. I did. Retro Kevo says, can I shoot my shot with bismuth? I would ask that you do that just sort of privately. Like, write it down by all means. Um, and then eat that piece of paper. Or perhaps throw it into a fire. I... Just, it's just that I don't want to he hear it or think about it. So, there we go. If we could, yeah. I guess, I guess absolutely not is what I'm really working up to saying here, isn't it? Um, I'm going to get booted off the fucking Oxventure, aren't I? Anyway. K. Bray Warren says, I'm shipping bismuth and bin bag anyway. Can you imagine how excruciating that wedding would be? 
Like, I actually think Bismuth would be very sweet and it would be delightful to see her get married, but, like, is that fucking bin bag. I mean, bin bag's one of my favourite things because bin, bin bag's just existence is so upsetting to the Oxventurers. Like, it's lovely to know that I can ruin their day just with a single clap of thunder. Like, it makes me feel, it makes me feel more powerful than anything else at my disposal in the entirety of that world. Which is no mean feat, given that literally everything else in that world is at my disposal, you know? Naka says, first words I hear, I'm going to get booted off the Oxventure, aren't I? What did I miss? So much, Naka. Not even two hours into the stream. Terrifying. But uh, welcome aboard. We're painting... Uh, Fiscally confused tabaxi rogue, um, rust on the harbour. Perhaps my greatest creation and first true child. Treeman says, Meryl when loves bin bag. Dob thinks of bin bag as a friend. Uh, the only one who gets pissy when the wizard shows up is Corazon. I feel like Prudence isn't a fan either. But you're right, Treeman. There are a couple of secret bin bag enablers, I'm going to say, in the party. Right. We're getting there. So we need some Screamer Pink. Scream a pink, ba 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 ba. Scream a pink. S. Puffington says, "If a witch asks for your firstborn child, would you give them rust?" Yes, probably. Because, like, I love him, but that seems like a fairly safe one to give away. So, be like, all right. Sure, if that's what you want. <laughs> you can never again use the French accent to Tabaxi. Okay. Can't wait for you to meet my German ta German accented Tabaxi. Who's an accountant. Curses. That's right. Be gone. It was weird the door opened then. As I said, be gone. But it was just Watson wandering into... Lie down on the uh, on the far side of the room. So there we go. There's his sash, and then we got to do the knacker chief. Can you tell? And the sword. Can you tell I'm uh, avoiding doing this the uh, affair for as long as possible? Anonymous says, if the witch steals your French accent, how will you ask for help with games on stream? It's a good question. I'll just never ask for help again. My streams will suffer immeasurably as a result. A deal's a deal. Sia Tog is in chat. Hello, Sia Tog. Good to see you. Um, Sia Tog says, Oxventure. Also, happy Monday, folks, slash Johnny. Thank you for your salutations on this. Probably the worst day of the week, if not the second worst. I hate Tuesdays. Tuesdays are the days I really fucking hate. Anyway. Anyway. 
The nice switch says, Johnny, have we talked about what brush we're using? No, we haven't, the nice switch. I'm sorry. I was so wrapped up in the fact that my paint pot is just absolutely terrifying now. It is with his weird antlers here. I haven't been talking about it, but... Um, Okay, listen up everyone, because there's a lot to catch up on. Um, actually, there's we've just been using the one brush. This is a Citadel Color um, Synthetic Small Base Brush. Um, you can just see it popping in there. It's kind of a workhorse. Um, the bristles keep a good tip. It doesn't kind of hook over uh, as quickly as a lot of other synthetic brushes do. Uh, briefly, we also used um, everyone's favorite completely fucked up um, Artmaster Series 10 uh, Zero Point Brush, which is just great for shade, because um, look at these bristles. Oh my God, they've been tortured. Uh, and that's that's it actually you're you're up to speed so um, I'm sorry about that everyone uh, I'll add it in the show notes but just watch me for the changes uh, on future brushes okay great uh, Nicholas Grammer has done whoa uh, Nicholas Grammer has done a massive super chat saying hey Johnny I know it's been a while since I last donated to you but life's been super busy and I haven't been able to catch you live for a bit just wanted to pop in and give a bit while I uh, can still watch everything on VOD though so don't you worry Nicholas that's really really kind thank you and again like um there's no expectation for you to give me anything at all, so I really, truly appreciate it. But um, uh, I hope things have been busy in a good way rather than a bad way. Um, and, yeah, it's lovely to see you live for a bit. If he says, has Johnny called us babes yet? I don't even think I have, no. Babes, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um... Okie dokie. All right, I guess we're doing this. Let's try and make Rustin Harbour the appropriate colour. Oh, you know what I should have done? You know what? It's not too late. This is going to seem weird. But first, we're going to paint all of Rust's fur brown. Didn't see that coming, did you? Unless you will. Or if you watch the Nun stream. The nun stream, good lord. I always try and... Like, the reason I do intros in the way I do... Um, and the way I sort of, you know, try and... Always talk a little bit about what I'm doing or contextualise why I'm saying something is I want to be as accessible to newcomers as possible. I always find it difficult when streamers are like, Hey, welcome back. So, like I was saying last time, straight away, it's like, whoa. Oh, okay. I feel like they don't give a shit if I'm here or not. Uh, so I try and keep things accessible, but then I come out with things like, if you watch the nun stream, as if it's such a perfectly normal thing to say. Um, so if you, th if this is sort of a first foray into uh, this channel, sorry about that little outburst. It's just there was a time when I painted some fictitious plastic nuns. Uh, and I use the same painting technique, which is to paint something brown before you paint it yellow. Um, and uh, that's really all there is to it. It was enough to tip me into an existential spiral, apparently. So, there we go. Dan Keller says, I feel like our in-joke quotient is pretty high for noobs. This is true, actually. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Um, but the good news is they're none of them deep. <laughs> so it's... I feel like it's easy to get caught up. I hope so, anyway. I don't want to put people off, because that's not how you grow an audience. Shrewy has done a super chat saying, lovely stream after having a hectic Monday. Thanks, with a heart emoji. I'm sorry your Monday was hectic. Um... It is so often the way, and also it's so often just annoying when Mondays are hectic. It's like, could it have been literally any other day in the week to be hectic? But I'm glad to be here now offering up a slice of less busy. <laughs> Good Lord. Um, Corey Amalema on another super chat. Um, mm -hmm. uh, saying, hi, Johnny and LSPs. I'm at work right now, so I'll have to be on VOD squad this week is not as another super chat wait it, uh, no I'm getting confused again between two so many usernames sorry my brain is fucked Corio Malaya missed on a super chat saying hi Johnny and LSPs I'm at work right now so I'll have to be on VOD squad this week I'll probably watch this while working on something creative have to decide between Sabaton minis from their board game or Hades Town fic interesting two very different things and I have to say 
I am amazed by anybody who can write a thing while also watching something. I just cannot do it. I can write when there's music on, but if there's anything visual on, to be honest, I just can't do it. Cannot do it. Um, but um, Sabaton minis certainly sound very interesting. Why does Sabaton ring a bell? I don't know. Stephen Hoy says, Sabaton has a board game? Okay, people are people are clearly... Right, okay, this is clearly a thing. Please explain to, to Old Man River over here. They're a band that like war. Oh, no, I was not aware of what Sabaton was. Interesting. Stephen Hoy says, I mean, I feel like I shouldn't be surprised, and yet that I should. Well, I'm glad that all you Sabaton fans out there are... Having fun? Oh yeah, look at that. A battle through history in, wait, an adventure with Sabaton. Well, that looks absolutely wild. Board games are weird. Swedish heavy metal band with history themes. Every day's a school day. Last week, I was playing Code Names, and I haven't played it in bloody ages. Um, I was playing um, with some friends, but I was playing... I was a spy master, as was, like, one of my closest friends in the world. Like, we've been banned from playing um, on the same Code Names team before, because our, our mind meld is just too strong. Um, and there was a clue that I could have given that was related to Ghost, the band, um, that would have absolutely swept the board and put us way in the lead if we were on the same team. But I had to con content myself with being like, if we were on the same team, I'd say this to you right now. And he was like, nice, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. But there we go. <sighs> Hey-ho. I still won that game of code names, so that's good. But we won it by them picking the assassin, which was less good. It feels like a hollow victory. Oh, crap. I just realised there's a tiny bit of uh, Russ chest poking through underneath the um, neckerchief. So, eyes up, babes, um, because we are about to switch to this Rosemary & Co. Kalinsky Sable Series 33 3-0 point brush. Uh, it is my favourite brush at the minute for getting details in because it is a very fine tip, but it's not so fine that you have to worry about not getting enough paint on it or the, the tip kind of bending and kind of giving you a small line where you don't want one. So it's a really good all-rounder. Um, I Personally, this is perfect for me. You may prefer to work with thinner brushes, but they're just not my kind of thing. Anyway, what we're going to do with this one now is just get a little bit of our um, of our brown uh, base, base colour here just on there like that, you can see we can we can test it a little bit on our thumb. Let's see, that's not quite enough. So what we'll do, we'll turn a bit of water, and then we'll just mix that in there. And then um, hopefully that, there we go, that's a much better line. And then what we're just going to do is very carefully, um, we're just going to poke it in here and just do the base coat around the neckerchief. Okay, great. Cool. Sorry, what was I saying? Oh, Fredo Baggins says, what do you think of their latest album, by the way? The latest Ghost album is a solid banger. I didn't... I wasn't so keen on the one before that, so I'm very pleased that they put out another album that I love. So there we go. Um, da -da 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 -da. Okay, so now Rust is uh, a lot browner than you would expect from a yellow tabaxi, but uh, stick with me for the changes, because babes, we are done with that Kalinsky sable. We are straight back to our Sisdel Color synthetic small base brush, and what we're going to do with it is uh, just start laying down some golden yellow over the, uh, over the brown base. So hopefully you can see here... 
Ooh, that's there. That looks like shit. That looks dreadful. We'll do a few coats of this. So the base coat can look dreadful. It looks like it looks oily. It's like sick. Uh, we're going to start painting him yellow. A golden yellow. I love this. I love this tone from Vallejo, but the um, the uh, the consistency of the paint is not fun. Slightly snotty, which is just not nice. Wings of Eternia has done a super chat saying, "For Watson Treat Fund, happy to catch this stream as a long time vodder. Love being even a tiny part of the community, even if I forget the Discord." It's all right. The, I mean, the nice thing about the Discord is it is always there when you need it, and there is always someone online ready to chat. But also, you don't have to be there every waking moment, or even at all, in order to enjoy the community, because the community lives on in YouTube comments and uh, stream chat and just the random burbling shit that comes out of my mouth while streaming or recording stuff. It's a multifaceted community, is what I'm trying to say. Mrs. Treeman says, are you ever worried about your paint ingestion as you clean and prep your brushes? Um, these are non-toxic acrylics. It's generally fine. Um, I was slightly worried for the first time yesterday when I bit my nail. Oh, I didn't, did I bite my nail? No, no, I picked something out of my teeth. Um, and kind of as I moved it, I got an overwhelming taste of resin in my mouth. And that stuff is pretty toxic. So that was bad. But that's the first time I've ever been like, oh shit, in like more than five years of hobbying. So I feel like, I feel like that's pretty good. S. Puffington says, is the Discord for Patreon only? So the very cheapest tier on my Patreon um, is £3 a month. And that gives you instant access to Johnny Keo Discord, which is the lovely community about which we were just speaking. Um... So, uh, yes is the short answer, um, but it is, like, available from the very, very cheapest option. So I appreciate that's you know, can be a deal-breaker for some people, but um, thus it goes. Because there are more, I think there are more people signed up to just the Discord tier than any other tier on the Patreon, so it does make a huge, huge difference to, like, my baseline and being able to keep a roof over my head and keep doing this, basically. So, um, hope you can all understand the uh, the maths behind it. Uh, CookieCat94 has done a super chat saying, please always be careful with resin. Yeah, you don't need... I mean, that that was a one-time, like, um, moment, but I promise you I'm being very careful with the resin. I know not to inhale... Uh, any dust if it's being filed down and I know to use gloves and all that kind of stuff. It was just a weird one-off. K. Bray Warner says, Okay, finishing work now. It's Cupcake Baking O'Clock. Honk, honk, honk. That sounds delightful. Uh, and the nice switch says, Eat resin. <laughs> um, so, some conflicting advice there from, um, from different elements of the community. I will at this point... Um, Again, emphasize that uh, that anything I say should not be taken as as actual advice. <laughs> um, but also, be careful with resin. The hot rocks can ruin your clothes. Way meow 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 meow. Boo 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 boo. boo. Please don't eat resin, though. Um, there you go. Mankoy says, "Eat raisin." Oh, I thought about this yesterday. I can't remember. I was listening to a song. Um, and it made me think about a Halloween costume, which is just like making a giant cardboard version of, like a giant version of the like sun-made raisin boxes, and then just doing zombie makeup and going as Raisin the Dead. I'm probably never going to do that. So if you're stuck for an idea for October, absolutely go for it, mate. Just send send me a picture, because I'd like to see see it. Right, second coat going on, starting to look less awful and a bit more yellow, so that's nice. Uh, 
Tegan Evans says, oh no, that pun costume. Um, the party I went to last Halloween got changed to a Wicker Man theme at the very, very last minute, so I didn't do it in the end, but I bought several large inflatable like um, hammers, and I was going to just cover myself in blood and go as Hammer Horror, just covered in hammers. Um, but you can have that one for free as well. You can't have my hammers, they're still mine, but if you want to get your own, take, have that, it's fine. The nice switch says The Bees. It was more the original, but we did in fact end up watching both films over the course of the night. We just stuck them on and uh, we had a really good laugh at the um, at the Nicolas Cage one, so that was nice. Alex Simpkin says, I don't like resin. It's viscous and sticky and irritating and it gets everywhere. Anakin! Oh no, wait, that was, that's uh, Qui-Gon when he says that. Uh, Anakin, down! Yippee! Just dreadful. Couldn't sleep last night, so at about two in the morning, I ended up watching a seven-minute video that was just like seven minutes of Jar Jar Binks secretly being a Sith Lord. I love that theory, that Jar Jar's actually a Sith. Makes me giggle. Right. So the colour's being built up nicely. We're going to do one more coat of it, so I'll leave this for a sec. Nathaniel Levy says, Jar Jar is a Sith. There you go. <laughs> Samori Osuni using a very, very good, um, in very, very good use of that one character, which is no and an E smashed together, says, hello there. Cooking Out 94 says, do I need to make and send bisque dice? Oof. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure. <laughs> On that one. Okay. Bit more yellow. Samorio so Suni says, ah, bisque. Luke was very much on form in that in that moment of the Ox Sancho. Uh, uh, Rust. Okay. That'll do, I reckon. So pretty soon we're going to get that, uh, that Kalinsky Sable back so we can uh, freehand on some leopard spots. It's quite scary, but Retro Kevo says, I'm an American, I just have one question. What is bisque? They have bisque in America, don't they? I thought bisque was like really big in the States. <laughs> Jack Wood says, Look at ye posting bisque. Oh no, West Puffington says I burned my shortbreads. I'm oh, very sorry. I hope they are salvageable. Ah, uh, Grumson says, isn't that chowder? Oh, maybe it is chowder that's bigger in the States. It's a soup, basically. Emma Benton says, big is relative. This is true. Because, I mean, the States is huge. Mr. Team Corvette coming out swinging says bisque is chowder with airs and graces. Holy shit. Um, Patrick Long says 10 gold pieces for rust. I don't understand. Um, Grumson says it's whatever they eat in Moby Dick. <laughs> yeah, it's a little known fact that the crew of the Pequod all have like a weird curse whereby no matter what they try and eat it turns into bisque before it reaches their mouths uh, it's like a bisque version of King Midas uh. Angel Beat says do they have the band Limp Biscuit in Geth oh my god oh no that's too good that's incredible right okay here we go gonna get some 
some of some brown uh, paint, that's what it's called, on the palette. Slightly dreading this bit, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Don't know about that, because Rust is why I only super chat a dollar, so as not to confuse him, also because I have very little money. <laughs> thank you for your, uh, thank you for your uh, candor, Dylan. And also for the super chats, I mean, like, you know, you don't have to super chat at all, but I do appreciate it. Okay, here we go. Okay. One. Oh, I hate it. I hate, I hate detailing like this. Okay, that actually needs to be closed ever so slightly, that one. There we go, there we go, that's better, that's better, that's better. Fucking hell. Will says, wait, Johnny, Johnny, stop. What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? Nathaniel Levy says, what happens is Russ, if Russ is given silver or copper pieces? He doesn't even notice them. They're not a gold piece, they're worthless. It's like, pfft, whatever. <laughs> Will says, oh no, we're good. I thought they had ringed tails. No. <laughs> No, they don't. <laughs> no, nope. Thank you, though, Will, for your concern with uh, zoological accuracy while we paint up this French-accented leopard man who is a mercenary with very little understanding of how money works. Okay. So Mario Cindy says, oh, by the way, Johnny, is it worth buying coloured plastic figures from Hero Forge or is painting it the best way to get proper decent colours? I've never experimented with the... Um the coloured plastic from Hero Forge, if I'm perfectly honest with you. So I cannot offer an opinion. Um, I, this is kind of an incidental thing, you didn't really ask about this, but I find um, Hero Forge, if you buy direct from them, the models are frustratingly brittle. Uh, I've seen some, more than once I've seen miniatures be sent to the Oxventure gang only to get smashed in transit. And um, it's a bit of a shame. To be honest with you, I even found... I bought some STLs off Hero Forge and I printed them myself. And I found that there were a couple of points on them where they were just really prone to breaking. Even though I supported them properly while I was painting them. So... Whoopsie. I fucked that bit up, didn't I? <sighs> Dylan says, Hero Forge colour plastic is fine, but you lose a lot of detail. So, right, if that's the case, I'd say painting them up yourself is uh, a better plan. What song is this? I like it. Another. As Puffington says, they have been salvaged. A little more baked than I'd hoped for, but still edible. This is about shortbreads, not brownies. I'm glad your shortbreads have turned out okay. So there's nothing worse than baking something and then being like, oh, this is trash. So, as Samorio Suni puts it, hooray for S. Poffington shortbread. Hooray! I 
I think you can see what I'm going for here, but I don't think it looks good. Hang on, I'll show you on the full screen. I just... An attempt was made. I don't know if it's about the spacing or the density of them, but I'm not not very happy with this, but oh well. Defect says, hi all, just in time to miss everything before this moment. Hello, Defect. Nice to see you. I hope you're well. Slap a wash on that and it'll look good, says Will. Okay, all right. That's what you think. Um, what was I going to say? Can't remember. Ooh, CookieCat94 says, chuck a tiny bit of a lighter yellow in the centre of the spots. That is clever. Interesting. I will do that. Even though there are now quite a lot of spots. But, to be honest, it's not got loads of leg out, has he? So, now we've done the tail. I think we'll be okay. It'd be weird if these weren't actually spots, but in actuality, Rust had got all these done as sailor tattoos. Which isn't true, but I just thought about it for a second there. All right. I'm going to do a couple on the backs of his hands, and then I think we're going to keep his head clear. But um, I'll try and sort of do like some eyeliner for him. Uh, Defect says, so who has been painted before my arrival? Beesmith the Crown from Necropolis on Sea. It's not really how she sounds. Yes, it is. Ah, There we go. That's her. Okay, okay, right. Tiny bit of eyeliner. And of course, paint his little nose. Oh, that's horrible. I've, I've fucking live action catsed him. Oh, he looks hideous. He looks absolutely... I somehow have painted Steve Buscemi's eyes onto this. This miniature. I'm going to show you all on the close-up cam. But viewer discretion is advised. Because no fucking joke. I feel like I've just stuck one of the cast of Fargo into the Oxventure. Good Christ. Wow. Oh, Christ. It's fucking hideous. Good Christ. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I 
Colin Laster says there's our curse 22, 2022 model right there. I'm fucking... Um, it's the nose. It's because I painted his nose. I'm going to paint back over that. Oh, God damn it. Dylan Armadek says, please put Buscemi to back to that vaguely resembles Rust in the Ox Venture. You mean like when Tony Soprano's cousin turns up in The Sopranos? <sighs> Fucking hell. What? Wow. Sweet boy. Look how they massacred my boy. That's it. Just paint his face again. Oh, he looks normal. Oh, that was such a fucking mistake. That was an unbelievable unforced error. My God in heaven. Shit the bed. I'm just going to shade that and then we're calling Russ done. Absolutely not. Absol I'm not. I'm not going near that again. Wow. Oh, I missed the super chat. Thank you, Lucantius. Uh Emerald Concubus has done a super chat saying, Hi, Johnny. Love your content. Is it okay if I drop a link to a tattoo artist GoFundMe for their top surgery? Um, I Yeah, I don't... I think uh, that... Uh, YouTube might stop the link going through, but could you maybe drop a, the name? Could you drop their name or the name of the campaign? I can search it up and then drop the link in myself. Uh, but yes, absolutely, Emerald. Thank you for the super chat and for asking permission. Uh, Molly Ace says, gotta go. I have a train to catch her funnel. Take care. Um, sorry that it your viewing of the stream ended like this, but at least we saved Rust from that. Right. Time to shave this sucker. I'll just get some just get some of the old Agrax on there. Okay, why not? Oofed. Tacky Wacky says, I choked on my milkshake at that Steve Buscemi comment. Sorry. Oh, Frodo Baggins says, I'm going to have to dash, but thanks for the stream, Johnny. Take care, Frodo. Stephen Anderson says, how do you get the paint not to glob up on the tip of the brush? I can never get eyes to work properly. So, one thing I learned after, like, I'm not going to lie, a few years um, of painting miniatures is that paint consistency is absolutely everything. Like, I knew from the tutorials I'd followed that it was good to thin your paints. It's like, okay, yeah, it's good to thin your paint. You don't want them to be too... Like, no one wants to turn into that model, that, that video that's called Thin Your Paints, where it's just pictures of models with really thick paint slapped on there and just someone going, ah! Um, and so I would thin my paints a little bit, but not loads, you know? Um, and I just kind of did it by rote. Um, and... Uh, it was only recently I realized that just how much paint consistency affects how well you can control the brush. So like, um, uh, like thinning it down a little bit so that you can get a little blib on the brush or just get a little tiny dollop on like worked into the very tip of the bristles, um, is, is a skill. It's something you need to, that sort of takes practice. Um, but once you get there, you'll find you can do little details like that. So much more confidently. I used to do I used to do tiny details straight out the pot, and now I'm like, ugh, how did I get anything looking good at all? Is it just I, I was working against myself? But uh, Yusuf Kanda says, are you planning to use these minis in the future, or is it just for you? I'll understand if you want to keep it vague. Um, I'm not planning to use these in the Ox Venture because we don't use these we don't use miniatures in the Ox Venture, um, and for as long as I draw breath, we never shall. But. Um, uh, these were sent in by Alex Simpkin, a very kind viewer, so I thought the very least I could do is have a stream where people decide what miniatures I'm going to paint up. Iffy says, bye everyone, off to sick a dragon onto my players. Take care, Iffy. What Iffy isn't telling you is that uh, 
the players are going to be playing football. It's just re suddenly very, very dangerous team sports. And that's the way it goes. Hmm. Well, says the thin your paints meme is absolutely a form of gatekeeping, in my opinion. It's a way of telling people that you know how to paint better than them, which is why it doesn't come with any explanation. That's a fair point, yeah. Um... I never considered that really. Um, I do think thin your paints is great is great advice, but yeah, it took me years to work out what what it meant, and I never questioned that. Weird. Okay, yeah, the wash has actually made the uh, spots look a lot more natural, which is nice. I forgot to paint the sword. Well, since I'm saying that community use of it is icky. Yeah, yeah. I think that's fair. Okie dokie. Right, so I'm going to let the shade, the rest of the shade dry on rust here. Um, and then I might do a little touch up on the on the fur because it's kind of dulled it down a little bit too much. Uh, but while that's drying, I think, I think we should uh, take a five to seven minute break because we've been going for nearly two hours now. Um, and I completely forgot to get anything to drink Uh when I sat down to start doing this. So I'm going to go get some water. What are you going to do? Are you are you feeling like you could do with um, some hydration yourself? Um, uh, um, do, do, do you need a stretch? Do you Are you hungry? Are you too warm? Are you too cold? Is there anything you could do to make yourself more comfortable for the rest of this stream? If so, do, do it. Um, uh, and then we'll come back and it will be nice. Um, if not, that's fine. Excuse me. There'll be some smooth jazz on loop and there'll be a picture of my dog. Will says, um, might not be back after the break. I'm away to shout at Apple. You tell them good. You, you fucking, you shout at them good, Will. Um, uh, but anyway, as the nice witch puts it, what Johnny is saying is, go and do a poo. So uh, five to seven minute break. Do with it what you will. Um, and we'll all meet back here. So, yeah, see you very shortly.
Painting stream. Painting stream. Oh, look, a little painting stream. Welcome back to the painting stream. Hi, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the break. Um, I got some water. Uh, I ate a short shortbread biscuit actually. It's quite nice. I only have a sweet tooth, but I was like, "Hmm, that's a pleasant biscuit." It tastes like butter. Um, and then I came back and uh, gave gave you all a rousing rendition of Spanish flea. And now we're gonna. Highlight Rust's face carefully so as not to repeat the mistakes of the past. But we're just, because I feel like we probably overdid it with the shade a little bit. We're just going to reintroduce ah, some colour back into there. There we go. That's a bit better. Or is it worse? Who can truly say? <coughs> and then it'll be time to pick our next Ox Venturer that we're going to paint. Here on youtube.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini. Thanks again to Alex Simpkin who sent in these miniatures to the P.O. box. It's very kind of you. And considering we're talking about you adding to my unpainted miniatures pile, I don't say that lightly. <laughs> who dares message me? Who dares? A friend of mine. Uh, Aiden Fox says Seal Gaiman. Seal Gaiman would be a strong show. Although, as somebody said at the top of the stream, he's pretty much already done, which is fair. We should probably do one of the actual core Ox Venturers, right? Um, I would make this into a Twitter poll, but annoyingly, like you can only have so many options. Anyway, that's Rust done. Bang. Pew, 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 pew. Um, so let's see. Hang on one sec. I need to reply to these WhatsApps if I'm getting that many of them. Only glad I didn't do this during the break. I'm streaming. We'll message in a bit. Done. Okay, right. So. We are going to do... <laughs> Aiden Fox says Seal Gaming is one of the core adventurers. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't have a character sheet, though. So, I'm going to remind you of the miniatures and what they look like. We've got... Egbert. This sort of chunky paladin build. We've got Prudence, who it's hard to show you, but has the best facial expression. It's properly like... 
an evil sm that wasn't very good but it's really good we've got prudence or we've got werebear prudence there uh, both casting agonizing blast we've got dob here sort of shredding on the loot with ethelfris hammer there we've got corazon like that and uh that's katie pullhead Where's Marilyn? Marilyn is here. To be honest with you, the primer still hasn't completely dried on Marilyn's cape. So maybe not Marilyn. Um, lots of people are saying prudence. Lots of people saying werebear prudence. Regular prudence. People saying dub. Okay, I'm going to make a, a poll of... Who is next? Question mark. Prudence, where bear prudence. Terrible Jake is not a. I know, I know Terrible Jake is an incredible model of a big wrong goose, but he's not a Korox Ventura. Look at him though. Uh, where bear prudence, Dob. Can I add another option? Egg, but those are the options. Sorry about it, Corazon and Marilyn. Yusuf Kanda says, I need to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to DM two games this week, but I hope you all have fun with a waving emote and then a smile. Take care, Yusuf. I hope uh, both games go very, very well. Aiden Folk says, no love for Corazon. There is love for Corazon. It's just that everyone was saying prudence. Few people were saying Corazon. So if there is no love for Corazon, it's not. Don't blame me. Oh, that nearly went down the wrong way. Dylan Arbadak says, Arbadak says, I wanted the goose. We all wanted the goose, but... Emma Blast says, I was saying boo was on. Buorazon. Okay. Prince is on 49%, 50% of the vote. Stephen Anderson says, will you model the Joyful Damnation? Uh, probably not, to be honest with you. Um, because um, I... Um, my hobbying time outside of these streams is uh, fairly limited, so I try and work on things that are uh, for games I'm going to be playing, like Blood Bowl or Turn It 28. Um, so I'm less likely to work on a diorama of something that is for work. You know what I mean? Uh, and also, I hate painting big vehicles. I hate it. I hate it so much. So the idea of making and then painting a massive pirate ship that I wouldn't then use in a game, it would just be there, it makes me sad. So... Um, the poll is still ticking away, but it looks pretty convincingly like we're doing prudence. Um, there we go. Good luck or a quick death has uh, done a super chat. Good luck or a quick death does this often and never says a word. Uh, and this is very much appreciated. Thank you very much. Good luck or a quick death. That is very kind. Right, I'm ending the poll. Prudence it is. Let's pull up some key art of prudence. Pro Danes. Okay. That's... I've got a lot of purples in here. So, I think that's Scream of Pink for the robes. Scream of Pink with some purple... Oh, this is going to be a fun one. Oh, I'm excited about this. Scream of Pink for the ro robes. And then we need... Where's it gone? Hex Lichen, I think it's called. For the trim on the robe. So that's those two. But then Prudence's skin is kind of a bit more red. But it is still quite vibrant. What about gory red? Let's have a look at gory red. That's prudency. Okay. We can always um, paint it with a lighter red. 
Tree Man says, Jane says Prue's, ro- Prue's robes are royal purple. She wears red for shows for her skin. Oh, okay. Hmm. I'm looking at the key art. Uh, but she does, they do show up as royal purple. Okay, so it's mostly royal. We'll do purple for the main bit, but we'll do screamer pink for the accent, because that definitely is in there. And then that's Prudence's skin colour. There we go. Right. Ooh, the Eldritch Blast is going to be fun, because it's kind of like crackling white-blue energy. I think I've got a contrast paint for that, which I've never used. So this will be a fun adventure for all of us. I'm going to base it in ghost grey, because that's a very blue-grey. This has turned into quite a fun colour picking exercise for me. It's like a colour palette challenge. Talisar blue can get fucked. Hi, welcome back to Non-Binary Person Looks for Paints in a box full of paints that they haven't organised very well, but they're shouting or so. Coming up on today's episode, where's the thematic blue contrast paint that I own, but have never used? Is that it? No. That's Drakenhof Nightshade. Is this it? No. That's Talisar Blue again. You silly sod. It's not that one either. God, this is an episode for the ages, isn't it? No! Some very old night haunt gloom. Thousand suns, but what the fuck? Am I gonna give up and use Nihilac Oxide? Maybe! Seriously, what the dick? This sucks. Thank you for tuning in. What the fuck? Where's it gone? I literally picked that up earlier. This is annoying. Duh. There's the ny- nylac oxide. So tech green. fucking gaslit by my own paint box. I literally had it earlier in my hand. There it is! Wow, that was a good episode, huh? Oof. Okay. I knew it was in there somewhere. Ugh, okay. I have a bit more water after all that. After all that excitement. And then we've got the golden yellow for the trim on Prue's boots. Okay, here we go. I'm actually going to start off. Might as well start off with the skin. Emma Benton says, again, please shorten the title before the pilot airs. What are you talking about? That was like episode nine. We're well into the first season. Okay, babes, we're back in with the Citadel Colored Synthetic Small Base Brush. It's just useful. Well, that's too much paint, by far. And we got the sort of classic brown black hair. And we're off. Lucanthia says, Johnny, have you considered painting a little dot on the lid so you know which colour is which without having to pick them up? You can see through the lids, is the is the thing. It's not the it's not the lids that are the issue, it's my ability to just look properly. And a bit of arm. A 
Not too worried about overpainting here onto the actual blasts though, because I'm going to paint them again after this, so that's fine. Ronin of the Verse has colour gradient organisation. Look, I used to have a paint rack, it used to be organised by colour gradients. I got rid of it, I put all my, my paints in a shoebox and I was so much happier. I am not the kind of person who does well with organised systems of things. I get almost paralysed by them. So I'm like, but if I pick it up, what if I don't put it back in the right place or whatever? I would, I am so much happier with chaos. So I realise it's not for everyone. And I realise that I waste time by looking for my paints. But it just makes me happy to browse. Ah, oh, Eddie, are you okay? Is in chat. Says, hey all. Hello, Eddie. I hope you're well. Oh no! Just as I said, I hope you're well, uh, Addy has COVID. I'm very sorry. I hope it is mild and I hope uh, you are able to rest up. Do not push yourself at all. Um, and I hope you get better very, very soon. That's rubbish. What? There's the tail. Addy says, I'm actually not too bad, just tired. Okay, good. Just rest up. Because the fatigue is real. It's really full on. Dylan says, is it okay if I plug my shitty writer website and my short stories I have there? Absolutely, Dylan. Oh shit, I also realised I did not follow up on um, the, uh, the GoFundMe. Uh, and I can't scroll it far up enough through chat. Crap. Uh, if you're still there and can remind me, by at, if you at Johnny Chiodini in chat, it'll be easier for me to see it. Um, sorry about that. Scatterbrained on my part. Right, here we go. Robes. Say what you want about purple but it goes on nicely onto a model seriously though you can say what you want about purple it's a colour it can't defend itself Oops, I'm painting almost off camera again. Great job. Well done, me. <laughs> Dylan Armadex, ton of super chat. There's nothing attached. <laughs> this makes me very happy. Addy says, sorry for derailing the chat. Don't apologise, Addy. You didn't derail the chat. You've got COVID. People wanted to wish you well. Uh, myself included. You have done nothing wrong. And your presence here, as ever, is very much appreciated. So there. Dylan says, I'm glad you enjoy it. YouTube just doesn't like me. Hee <laughs> Mm. 
Let me just do a second coat of this. Aha! Emerald says, no worries, I didn't think she did that earlier. AJ De La Cruz. Right. Bang. There is a link. Uh, for uh, for AJ De La Cruz, um, who is uh, trying to organise um, top surgery. If you have um, any money going spare, I'm sure it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Okay. Tony P has done a super chat saying, Hi Johnny, the wife and I will soon be starting up our own YouTube channel as newbies playing various games, starting with Alien Isolation with the wife. Some crafting and embroidery will also be recorded. Any advice? Um, just make sure you're, you're excited about what you're doing. Like, don't go chasing things and do things solely because you feel like you ought to do them or you have to do them. Because you'll burn out. Um... It's much more fun if you're like, fuck, this idea is fun. I can't wait to make it happen, that sort of thing. So just chase the fun. Um, and if you uh, find that something isn't as much fun as you thought it would be, consider bidding it off. Just have fun with it, basically. But thank you very much for the super chat, uh, Tony. That is very kind. And I wish you every success with the channel. Hang on, I need to rearrange this blue tick because Prudence is coming unstuck. Oh, Dylan. I missed Dylan's thing. La, 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 la. The link was above that, and that was the intended super chat. La, 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 la. I... I'm actually... Not seeing the link. This is what I mean, uh, Dylan, that, that YouTube just eats links. Uh, it's to do with the um, settings that we have on chat. Um, uh, uh, how to fix this. Dylan, if you, if you literally type it out, like, with spaces, be like, you know, uh, if it's, you know, DylanArmadeck.com, could you just type DylanArmadeck? space dot space com hopefully that won't get picked up um 156 football has done a super chat saying hi johnny you got me into tabletop rpgs thanks for that any plans to do oxventure on a more regular basis like once every other week or something um that's not really uh, in my power to decide um i am but a gm who turns up when requested um I know that, like, um, like for example, at the minute, Outside Xbox and Extra are hiring uh, an Oxventure producer. The goal being to make it, you know, to, to make um, the Oxventure that much easier to produce. Because getting all six of us in a room together at a time that works for all of us and we've all got the time to record, etc., etc., is actually phenomenally difficult because we're all very busy people in our own ways. Um but hopefully it will mean that it, it gets a bit easier to kind of sort out those logistics. Um, uh, I, I certainly wouldn't expect Oxventure every other week, for example. There, there was sort of a period during the first lockdown where that was the norm. Um, but uh, yeah, watch this space, basically. I, I cannot say definitively too much either way because I'm not sure. But there we go. Jan Pell says, by the way, Johnny, has there been a status progress on the Eurogamer d d broadcast? I suppose it's been dropped by now. Yep, that, that died when I left uh, Dicebreaker. Uh, it's not coming back. 
Um, oh, that's weird. Did that work? I'm not seeing it. This is really weird. Um, Dylan, are you on the Discord? If you are, could you just send me a direct message? So I'm trying to find it, but this is really annoying. Right. In the meantime, I shall crack on with this. Um, one sec. I'm just going to make sure. Okay. I'm not on the Discord yet. Okay, Dylan, do not worry. Um, hmm. Sorry for the trouble. No, no, I'm just curious now. All right. Daryl Jones says, Hello, Johnny. Any word on the next plays in the Dark episode? Or is it the same news as Oxventure and just trying to find time for everyone to meet up? I genuinely do not know what I can and can't say. Um, I realise that... Uh, I, I realise that is probably a little bit frustrating, but watch this space! I would say. That's literally, literally probably all I can say. I would ask them. Uh, because it's, a, it's the same deal, like... I don't work for the same, I don't work for the company anymore, um, so it's it's out of my hands basically. But I don't know. Watch this space. Maybe something's in the works. Maybe I don't know. I think that was subtle enough. I can tell you what is coming soon, though. Press any Kiadini. Press any Kiadini. And actually took a week off last week, because so did I. But it's a weekly Let's Play show where I play video games, as voted for by my community. Currently, we're in the middle of uh, a playthrough of Marvel Spider-Man on the PlayStation 5. Uh, the weird new face and everything. What will we play next? Gosh, I don't know. That's up to patrons of the second and third tier on my Patreon, which is patreon.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini. I think we got through that, didn't we? Hey, look at that. I haven't had one of these in a while. I will add that to the... Uh, I will add that to the filter, Emma, right now. Do not worry. Wowee! That's our first porn bot in months. Goodness. Half Beaks has done a super chat. What a good username. Saying, Hi Johnny, can you tell us how Watson always seems to find such massive sticks in the woods? It's so impressive from Faith. Two two ways, basically. The first way is that um, she refuses to accept small sticks. So um, only big ones will do. She will keep looking until she finds one. Which, given we're walking through the woods for like an hour or more... Um, uh, like, it's it's a high rate of probability. Also, we go walking in a really old wood. So there are some really old oak trees there. There's a lo loads of different trees. And especially if the weather's been blustery, there's always something that's come down. You'd be surprised by how many branches get dropped in the course of any given week. Um, so, uh, yeah, it just, like, there's always a stick. And Watson will always find it. So there we go. She just, yeah, it's it's big sticks or nothing. Big big sticks will go home. Uh, just give me one minute, everyone. I'm just changing our community settings uh, to include 
that particular pawn bot. Uh, oh, that's banned users. Here we go, here we go. Whack! Whack. The band. The band fucking. Ugh. The. The band terms list is not pretty viewing. Ah. Uh, oh, ah, shit, that was it. Hang on a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Settings. 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 Community. May end up regretting this. Block links. Oh, okay. Save. It'll be held for a review, but that's better than it just being blocked. Dylan, hit us with the link. Link us, Dylan. <laughs> link me, Dylan. Link me up. Anyway. Uh, right, we need Screamer Pink for the trim on this stuff. Oh. Let's see if it works. Did it work that time? No! <laughs> it should work. Maybe it's because this stream is literally ongoing. It might be next time. I'm sorry, Dylan. I feel like I failed you. Sorry. Next time. Next time it should work. God damn it. Eddie, are you okay? Has done a super chat saying, here's some of the money that I will be saving from self-isolating. <laughs> Uh, in good news, I've just found out that my boyfriend and I got the flat that we were looking at. Amazing! That's great news! Um, although, of course, that does mean you need to move house, which is one of the most stressful things you can do. Uh, you have my sympathy on that front, and I hope it goes really smoothly, because I hate moving house. I hope never to have to do it again. Um, so thank you for the very generous Super Chat. I'm sorry about the circumstances under, under which you are doing said Super Chat. Uh, but congrats on the flat. Is it your first one together, or...? It's alright if you don't want to answer that. Um, sorry, just curious. But, um... Uh, congratulations, either way. Oh, uh, Eto Perinkus says, um... Oh, this is a super chat saying, just to say the link worked for me on the mobile app. Interesting. Thank you. Yes, first together. Well, congratulations, that's bloody excellent. Um, living with your partner's great. Suddenly all of their, like, Sh am I going to see you this week? Should we go to my place or your place? D are you going to eat dinner at yours? Or la, 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 la. It all just goes away and it's like, see you at home? Yeah, that's where we live. It's fucking mint. It's really good. <gasps> Addy says also ordering a ring next month. Yes, please. Ring fit or Elden Ring. Fmuff, fmuff, fmuff. No, for real, congratulations, that's amazing. Uh, very happy for you both. Right. Hmm, purple's come out quite shiny. Oh well, hopefully the shade will fix that. Uh, Screamer Pink. Dylan says, if Johnny is okay with it, I can tweet them. Yeah, tweet me, Dylan. Tweet me, Dylan! Dylan! Tweet me. We'll put this to bed for once once and for all. I swear to God, chat, if you don't click on this fucking link once I post it, I'll be livid. 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 I'll go through and ban all 336 of you myself. Probably gratuitous. But I'll do it. Anyway, right. Here we go. Scream a pink. Scream a pink. It's not really that good a pink. But it is a good colour, so we'll let it off. 
I have to say this is not my best painting work, but uh, I'm trying to get through as many of these as possible because they are such fun sculpts. So yeah, while I could be making these look better, uh, it's just nice to get more of them done in one go. Okay. Uh, Twitter. Ah, oh, thank you, Dylan. Listen, all right, listen up, chat. I'm dropping a link. You will click it. You are going to go look at this WordPress. So help me God. We got there, Dylan. We did it. Ah. Oh. You'd think, given that I've been making videos on YouTube for 14 years now, and that I've been running this channel solo for over a year, that I'd be more across that sort of thing. But that's why I'm such a fun, unpredictable scamp. to concentrate on being neat, but that's good. I'll give you a time to click that link. Phew. Okay. Right. Trim done. Looks sufficiently prudent-like, I think. Prudent-like. Now, Frisky in the Darkness, they kind of strike me as like a rich mahogany leather. I'm going to just use terracotta again because it's a good colour. Dylan Armadek has <laughs> done a super chat and there's text attached. <laughs> Saying, ha, I figured it out. Also, I cannot thank you enough for all the effort in making that damn link happen. It means the world. Also, like, 80 views in 10 seconds. Thank you, LSPs. <laughs> I'm glad we could help, Dylan. We got there. We finally got there. Oh. EA122 says, I wonder what Prudence's book babies would think of e-books. Now, that's a good question, because, like... I mean, let's say, for example, that Frisky in the Darkness eat other books, right? Like, when if they were to eat an e-reader, would it be like eating loads of books because there are loads of books on an e-reader, or would it just be like eating one, or would there be no nutritional value at all? It's interesting. I guess it depends whether or not the nourishment they gain from it is through... Um, like the destruction of something or like whether it's literally turning paper into chemical energy or whether it's like destroying the essence of literature, you know? Like in what sense of the word are they devouring these books? And, I guess, can they index the contents of a Kindle? You know? Uh, Dylan says, oh fuck, content warning, one of the stories is about dying. You have been content warned, chat. 
proceed uh, cautiously. Okay, that's not my best paintwork, but Frisky in the Darkness have at least been base coated. Um, where's that key art going again? Oh, I closed it. That's fine. Um, what was I going to do? Okay, well, I need to base the Eldritch Blasts. I need to put Black Templar on the bits I painted white. The boots, that was it. Some more purple on the palette. Mrs. Dreamman says, which Oxventure character gets banned from the library first? Toss up between Corazon and Egbert, I think. Because Egbert is careless. I don't think Egbert would be like, I'm going to disrespect this library. But he might knock things. I mean, he's literally called Egbert the Careless. He'd probably knock over all of the stacks in, like in that scene from The Mummy, where Rachel Weiss knocks over all of the bookcases by mistake. Um, but Corazon would like if he got bored in a library likely he'd start like carving his initials into the desks and like flinging books about deliberately breaking the spines like highlighting rude words in the dictionaries um which is just kind of like a more pernicious way of um of of being a dick in a library, basically. Lycanthia says Egbert is likely lightly smoking basically all the time. He wouldn't be allowed inside at all. Oh yeah, it's like um it's like in the name of the wind with the library there. Anonymous says, yeah, one good sneeze from Egbert, and that's the end of the library. Yeah, he's a ha he's a hazard. Yeah. Um Oh no. Got sent a picture of my friend's game hall from the UK Games Expo and he bought tapestry. Didn't like it. Um, but you know what? Maybe he will. So that's fine. I just will not be playing it with him. Okay. <laughs> Emma Blass says his Egbert's dark secret is a disastrous trip to Alexandria. <laughs> That's very good. Okay, right. So we're sort of doing a blue-grey here on the Eldritch Blasts. And then I've got... I mean, I looked hard enough for it. I've got a uh, contrast paint to slap over the top of that. Ah, oh, Paul Foxcroft is in chat. Hello, Paul. How you doing? What a perfect time to plug this weekend. Um, if you are a Londoner, or if you can get to London uh, with ease, it may interest you to know that uh, Questing Time returns to the Phoenix, uh, which is a delightful pub in W1? Let me, let me look this up just to be doubly sure. Basically, Questing Time is an absolutely phenomenal... Uh, live Dungeons and Dragons show that is run by um, it is in W1 um, run by the inimitable Paul Foxcroft um, who I've known for a terrifying 14 years now I think uh, but anyway Central London um, lovely lovely pub 
Um, and uh, at 7 p.m. on Sunday, June 12th, that's this Sunday by Jove, um, I will be playing um, as part of the, the cast in Questing Time. Um, it is a damned good laugh. I will drop a link to tickets in the chat. Um, so there we go. If you can make it, that'd be amazing. Um, it's right by Oxford Circus Tube. Am I right in thinking, Paul, are there going to be sort of board games in the daytime beforehand? Are you doing the whole uh, um, games in the daytime bit? I should probably just look at the fucking where you got tickets thing, shouldn't I? Yep, got a day of gaming in the venue all afternoon in the basement, board games, Magic the Gathering, and good food. And then at 7pm on June 12th, it is, um, it is going to be me, uh, Paul, obviously, uh, Poppy Hilsted, um, Jeremy Cobb from the Three Black Halflings podcast, and a fourth person. So there we go. Uh, oh, it'd be nice to play D and D again. I can't remember the last time I played as a natural player. When was the last time? Twenty twenty. Surely I've played since then. I don't think I have. That's terrifying. It's been a long time. It either will have been when Luke ran D and D and I played as Hengist, or in the first lockdown when I was playing as Rust in a campaign. Hmm. Steve Gilly says this might be a new question, but what character do you play as, Johnny? Uh, in the Ox Venture, none of them, because I'm the DM, so I sort of play the others. Uh, but outside of that, I actually don't have a character on the go at all in role-playing right now. Uh, I was playing in uh, Deadlands Hell on Earth campaign, but that's kind of fizzled out. Um, and I haven't been playing anything since. So, nothing. Nothing, Steve. Okay, so... Black Templar goes on the horns and the hair. And then we're going to try out, for the first time, I think I don't... Yeah, this is completely unopened. Some Ethematic Blue, which I think might be shit. I don't think people like this paint very much. But we'll find out. Um, Steve says, oh, I know... Aha, yeah, I know Ox Ventra. I just meant away, away from all of that. Kind of curious how someone who thinks of all these wild peeps can narrow it down to one. Thanks for answering. Um... It just depends on the system, I think. Like, so in uh, Deadlands, I was playing as a, a teenager called uh, Judah, who, um, like, had lived, had grown up on the on the mean streets of the Weird West, um, and so was a good shot because he'd like had to shoot coyotes and stuff to keep himself alive and blah 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 blah. And he was sweet, like he was obsessed with um, a uh, a detective, a series of like detective novels. Uh, called like Chet, uh, Chet Washburn, and he wanted to become a great detective like Chet Washburn. So he was kind of tagging along with the party, party being like, "I'm going to be a great detective and I'm going to stop the bad guys." And then like, he realised that everyone's bad, and he killed his first person. And then like, they kept getting into com combat, and I was trying not to kill people, but he just acts like honestly, the roles were ridiculous. So just ended up like repeatedly killing people. And then he kind of became disillusioned and was just like, what's the point? There are no good guys. It's all a lie, yada, yada, yada. And he went kind of angsty teen for a while. And uh, the like I say, the campaign fizzled out. But by that time, he'd become a full-on bounty hunter and was like, killing's all I'm good for. <laughs> it was a lot. Um, but I loved playing him. Um, and like, there were points where I was like, this kid's getting away from me. Like, I felt like his direction in the story was 
I was losing my grip on it and like Judah was just going off in his own direction, which was very odd. I'd never had that happen before, but he was a compelling little shitbag. He wasn't even a shitbag, that's the problem. He was a sweet kid, but he was just a very good shot. Whoops. Um... Joshua Hillmanator Hillman has done a super chat asking, Hi Johnny, random question. If the Oxventurers got into an all-out brawl with each other, who do you think would win slash get out alive? Um, I think uh, Dob would have a good chance of getting out alive because calm emotions and just not really wanting to fight. If it did come down to it, Prudence would be an interesting one because obviously Agonizing Blast is cantrip so she can just keep doing that and not worry about spell slots. Corazon does a lot of damage but has to be able to hide. Egbert's tanky but doesn't really know how to use any of his stuff. And Prudence is a bit of a glass cannon. I honestly feel like a lot of it would be a fair fight. I don't know. I do think... I think Dob if Calm Emotions works because he'd be trying to get out. And also the skeletons. I'm going to say Dove or Prudence. Uh, Martin Stunenberg has done a super chat saying, I kind of suck at chat, but I love the vibes. Thanks, Johnny and LSPs. That's a perfectly lovely chat for you to have done. Thank you very much. Um, uh, and Christopher Wall has done a super chat saying, Huge thanks to you and the Oxos for getting me fully into TTRPGs. Yes. Do you know of a video series going through the history of the genre, including non d and I don't, but... If you find one, please tell me, because that would be a hell of a thing. I'd be very much interested in watching that. Um. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, I so, saw uh, Nyalatha Rich ask, where are these minis from? Uh, these are from Hero Forge. Um, uh, Alex Simpkin, very kind viewer, uh, printed them out for me and sent them in, which is very nice. Lightning Wing Dragon says, is there a bin bag mini? You bet your, your, uh, bippy. There's bin bag. He's not levitating, so he's not in his most annoying form. But there we go. Um. Ah, oh, croony. Come on, brain. Gecko in a suit says, I'm very late to the party, but I'm glad to see someone beat me to sending minis. I do have a Hengist I would love to send, if you'll be interested, Johnny. Um, I don't know when I'd get round to painting it, to be honest with you. Like, after this stream, I don't know when I'm going to get round to painting the rest of these. Uh, but I'd love to see a, a picture of it, if you've got one. That would be absolutely lovely. Ah, oh, brilliant. If you're in the Discord as well, uh, Alex Simpkin has put a link to the files, so you can get your own uh, versions of these printed out for yourselves, if you so desire. Paint shaking ASMR. Boop, boop, boop. Now, Alatha Rich says, Is that a seal game? And I see. You bet your sweet bippy! There it is. I mean, again, it seems very much like he's already painted. But, um... Okay, here we go. Let's see how this paint performs. Ooh. Not sure about this, but let's find out. Um, and then I'll read out a super chat from Thomas Ogden. Give me one sec. Ah, that's kind of fine for this. Mm, it doesn't sit great. It'll do. Might take a second application. Um, RV Dammit has done a super chat saying Vortex Mixer Fund. Thank you, RV Dammit. Also, this thing's a bloody revelation. At first I was like, but my lovely, my lovely crappy jar that I don't want to part with. How can I possibly use the paint puck? This thing's great. Turns out it's great. I used it for the first time yesterday and was like, oh, I'm an instant convert. Um, uh, da 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 da. We'll see about the Vortex Mixer. We'll see. Uh, oh, God. The Super Chat said... Um, 
going right in. Uh, Thomas Hogden did one saying, Hi, Johnny, once again. Um, I introduced Bin Bag as an NPC in the D&D campaign I run to stop my players causing bar fights. It was becoming too regular. Wow, that's impressive. Uh, Ty C has done a super chat simply saying no message. Thank you, Ty C. No response. No, I'm grateful. Thank you very much. That's very kind. Um, Nick Jeffrey has done another super chat saying, I'll have you know my bippy is umami, not sweet. <laughs> That's not a super chat I thought I would receive ever, let alone today. Um, PJ Buck has done a super chat saying, Happy Pride, Johnny. Thank you for being wonderful. With a purple heart, yellow heart, white heart, and black heart, which, as we all know, makes up the non-binary pride colours. Hey! Fuck's sake. A delivery! I'll be right back. Chill out, Watson. Oh, well. And see, what they've done there is they've run a, diff run a different flat. So now I can't answer the door. Is that for me or is it not? Is the door going to go again or is it not? I don't know, but I'm mildly annoyed. Especially since I bet it is going to go again the minute I sit down. I don't think I'm getting a package. I don't know what's happening. But there we go. Matthew83 has done a super chat saying, I've also painted figurines for my D&D crew and we're finally using them next Sunday. Will you do the same with your Oxventure figurines? Um, somewhat embarrassingly, no. I don't like using miniatures on the tabletop. It's entirely personal preference. Uh, I just prefer theatre of the mind. Um, it's more flexible. It works with the way I like to play and the way I like to DM. Uh, it just feels more vivid in my head when I'm not looking at a table of things. So I've got a very vivid imagination, but when I'm looking at stuff on the table, I actually find it very hard to engage that imagination. I just start focusing on the miniatures on the table themselves and being like, how far is that distance then? So there that goes. That's the thematic stuff. Yeah, that's a tricky contrast paint to use, but I feel like it's done a fairly good job of making some crackling eldritch energy there. So that's all right. I see you, Steve, saying time for shenanigans and then shit. Ah, that's right, I'm back. There you go. Thank you, Ethermatic Blue. I may never use you again. <clears throat> Why is my phone still going off? Um, Steve says also I get the impression Ox Venture are naturally clumsy. Uh... In real life, it wouldn't take long for someone to get lost or broken. Well, it's it's just another thing that we'd have to factor into every single shoot or every live show. Like, how do we show miniatures in a live show? It's not dynamic and fun. Um, and it's just more... St You'd be surprised by the amount of stuff we have to roll in with anyway. Like, uh, all the set dressing, all the costume, <laughs> in some cases, musical instruments and stuff. Like... We're talking like sort of suitcases get wheeled in for every recording and every live show. I've managed to get mine down to just my laptop, my dice, my DM screen and like costume. But it's still a big bag that I've got on my back. So there we go. Emma Benton, you've just done an enormous super chat with a purple heart, a yellow heart, a white heart and a black heart. And that's really bloody lovely. Um, thank you very much. Um, I really, truly appreciate that. This is like, um, this is the first, well, it's not, it's not, it's not the first Pride Month I've had since coming out as non-binary, so I've been out as non-binary for over a year now, but it was so close to it last year that I was like, ah, I'm not even thinking about it. Um, Emma says, happy Pride. That's really lovely. Thank you. Yeah. Happy Pride Month to everyone. I'm still kind of processing it and I'm still kind of thinking about Pride and like, whether I see myself as sort of um, having a place there, you know what I mean? Like, which makes it sound like I think pride is exclusionary, which isn't true. But like, I don't know. I'm still, pro I'm still, I'm still having lots of lots of big old thoughts and feelings about my gender. Um, but that is a really, really lovely thing to receive. And I just picked off the gnarliest bit of dried paint. Say that dryad bark. Fucking yeah. Okay, there we go. Where am I going to put that? Pop that in an empty beer can. Not that I have empty beer cans on my desk. Heaven forfend. 
Right. Cookie Cat 94 says, I still want to know how Luke and Andy hid the people's outfits. Me too, so I know where to look. I did not see it coming. Goodness me. Um, Lightning Wing Dragon says, when will the next episode of Oxventure come out? Uh, soon, because there was a live show. Not this weekend, just gone, but the weekend before. Um, so probably a couple of weeks, I reckon. So there we go. Um, so if you can just hang on a little longer, you'll get your fix. At Changing Brushes, we're going back to this Rosemary and Co. Little Kalinsky Sable one, babes. I'm just going to do a little accidentally got some Black Templar on Prudence's face. And also those features could do with being picked out. So I need a different red. Oh, sorry, pick. Vermilion. There we go. Okay, here we go. Less on camera than it does in person, but it doesn't look great in person. Well, we have, to one degree or another, painted Prudence, the Tiefling Warlock. Am I going to shade this one? I kind of feel like no. Might shade Frisky in the Darkness, just so the pages stand out a little bit better. But apart from that, I think it's fine. <sighs> Ah, Martin Stunenberg is off. Where did, where did he say in this? Martin. Ah, I'm off, lovely people. Have a lovely day. You too, Martin. Take care of yourself. It's lovely to have you in chat. As ever. Okay. There we go, look. you got even the teeth showing up there. I'm frisky in the darkness. Tremendous. You lovely, horrible little... Necronomicons. Grimoires, I suppose. Bang! Done! Prudence! We're getting through them. Again, none of these is like my finest painting work, but they are certainly f painted models. So we've done Bismuth the Crone, we've done Rust on the Harbour, we've done Prudence. What would you have me paint next? Uh, we've got all the rest of the Oxventurers. We've got Cars on Dob Egbert. We even got Werebear Prudence. And then we've got Terrible Jake, the the horrible wrong goose, who's here. Uh, we've got uh, Binbag, the wizard. Uh, we've got Seal Gaiman. Seal Gaiman's kind, kind of done. Uh, we've got Katie Pearlhead. Of course, we've got Merowyn. Whoops. I did mention that by mistake. Uh, let's see. So we've got S Seal, Terrible Jake, Egbert, Corazon. Goose, Ben Bag. Okay, so next we're gonna have Ben Bag, Terrible Jake, Egbert, or Corazon. Not throwing Marilyn in there because again, the primer went really weird on her cape. And to be honest, I think this model needs to be, I need the primer stripped off and then 
Let's start again. <sighs> Let's see. Angel Beat says, Poor Meryl when I know. Although if there were any Oxventure character that wouldn't take well to being sprayed with like a rattle can, it would be it would be uh Merylwen. Oh that's interesting. Binbag came strong out the gate, but Egbert's completely overtaken. Snorpin Bass says literally chose at random. Chaos. Defect says Werebear. Werebear's not on the not on the pole, my friend. The Werebear is also got the exact same robes as Prudence. So it wouldn't be the most exciting paint straight after Prudence. I'm going to give it another minute or so. wonder if any other significant votes are being held right now between the hours of 6 and 8pm. It's close, this one. Nathaniel Levy says, will there be a baby Prudence? Nay. What you see is what I got. You can't even see all of them. Egbert holding at 32%. David Cross says, ha 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 ha. Hello, I loved your work in Arrested Development. Dr. Branger says, hear about Theresa May showing up to vote in an actual ball gown. Did that happen? Give me a minute, another 20 seconds. Wow, that actually happened. Oh, she has some Jubilee nonsense afterwards. Interesting. All right. By a fiery snout, Egbert has won it. Titan Uranus says, a ball gown? Surely she doesn't dance. Oh, God. Horrible. Horrible. I'm going to trigger Article 50. You fucking wank. Good day for me to be streaming, isn't it? At least it wasn't yesterday. Right. Oh, Xventure, Egbert. I need to check the colours. So if we go by sort of version two of the art done by the uh, incomparable uh, Dusty Leaves, it's kind of a dark red. Let me just get the heavy red out. Oh, actually. Yeah. Just throwing paints around now. Is it the heavy red that we used on bismuth? Not heavy red terracotta. No, it isn't. Okay. God, Twitter's going to be fucking insufferable for the rest of the day, isn't it? Anyway, heavy red. In before everyone says, what do you mean just for the rest of the day? It's always insufferable. Okay. Heather says, I'm just waiting for Nadine Doris to turn up at number 10 with a bag full of lager, a chicken, and a fishing rod. <laughs> uh, absolutely incredible. Okay, so, uh, be uh, not Bendix, Egbert. Uh, has okay so this is clearly a breastplate so we will do that in metal but this is all going to be sort of a heavy red and then obviously he's got very yellow skin okay this will work we'll work on we'll have a think about the shield 
Sainted Karma has done a super chat saying, a method I use in D&D is a mixture of theatre of the mind and minis. A blank grid board for party positions and enemies. If it's a hefty encounter, it helps everyone on the same page position in relation to each other. Um, I w- like So the thing is, if I'm describing something, if people want a map, I will draw them one. And sometimes I find it useful just to make sure that they understand the layout of the land. But I only draw the terrain. And I will be like, you're here or whatever. But I find if it's a map that's sort of being updated in real time, it just, in my in, in my opinion, it draws a bit too much away from it. I'm not knocking miniatures. I'm just explaining why I personally don't go for them. Um, cause it's, it feels a little bit counterintuitive. I love painting miniatures so, so much. But I'm like, now, when it comes to using them in pen and paper role-playing games. But... Um, you know, when you consider that mostly I'm painting miniatures so I can just throw block dice uh, and just sink a pint and, and yell nonsense about fantasy American football, it kind of comes into a bit of uh, perspective a bit more, I think. So I think these are bombs, which is great. So I'm going to paint this satchel, which means that this bit will be robes um and then i'll paint the bombs up joshua hillmanator hillman suggests a big laughing cow cheese on the shield ah la vache qui ri. If I could freehand, oh fuck it, I'll try it anyway. Why not? We'll do a big. I'll do. I'll try and do a big purple cow. Why not? Neck of the kitty says, "Where does Egbert carry all the needed Scotch eggs inside Seal Gaiman?" Basically, there is no carrying them for later. If there's a Scotch egg, Seal Gaiman's going to have it. That's at least the way I see it. Okay, here we go. So. You know what? Because there's some lovely, like, slashes in this here um, shirt. I think it would be churlish not to incorporate them. So I'm going to, somewhat carefully, try and incorporate them into the paint job. This brush is a bit big for this, to be honest, but we're doing it anyway. Yep, there we go. But too much vocal shear in one stream is bad for me. Cookiecat94 is on Super Chat saying, Did you hear about the Dungeons & Dragons themed vacation rental company? They're calling it Air d and Oofed. Hefty, that one. Okay, right now this looks like bum, but uh, when I go back in with the pale sand, why not? Uh, hopefully it'll look better. I gotta say, Alex Simkin, you put in some really good attention to detail when you were picking the parts out for these. Oh look, there's even dynamite! It's fucking oh come on Johnny. There's dynamite on the on his bloody hips, look. That is a stick of dynamite. Very good. Okay, that works. Oh no, I've made a rod for my own back here, because there are the same slashes in this arm. But It's harder to reach them thanks to the shield. Uh, 
Okay, there we go. This is a really fun sculpt. Alex Simpkins says, sorry about the shield, Johnny. Don't be daft. I think this is a great sculpt. I just didn't realise. I didn't think about. I mean, I'm glad I did it, but I realised I made it more challenging for myself with the um, with the old sleeve slashes. Wraith Shadowheart has done a super chat saying, I have a lot of battle mechs, brackets, about a hundred to paint. I have colour schemes already, but it is a bit daunting. Is it better to do all of one colour at a time and loop back, or is fully painting each better? Ultimately, Wraith Shadowheart, only you have the answer to that question, because a hundred of anything is a shitload to paint. Um... I nearly quit the hobby entirely back when I just started and I was painting lots and lots of Skaven clan rats because um, I was trying to paint 30 or 40 at a time and it just felt like I was never getting anywhere because I'd be like, oh, okay, I've done, I've done all the red on these clan rats and now I've got to stop because I've been painting for ages and I'm tired. And it just felt like a thankless task that was never going to get done and I just got really sad about it. Um, and then I learned that breaking down uh, the size of my projects into smaller batches really, really helped. So um, uh, now the largest size of batch I will paint is five models. I won't do more than that. Ideally, I'll do just three. At the minute, I'm doing um, a Blood Bowl team and I am painting each model individually because... A, I feel like I'm getting them done quite quickly. B, I'm painting them to a higher standard. Um, and C, I'm not burning out. Um, if you're talking about 100 mechs and you've got colour schemes done already, is it better to do all of one colour at a time and loop back or is fully painting each better? I would say do a small batch of one colour, switch to a different colour and a different colour and a different colour and a different colour and keep going round. Because you will, if you do all of one thing, it will be like, like you're going to just drive yourself up the wall, basically. Paul says, ooh, what team? I'm doing that with my kill teams. I am currently painting a Norse team for Blood Bowl from the new um, Games Workshop releases. Um, I'm planning to run them in the next season of the league uh, that I'm playing in, if it's still running. Um... And uh, they just seem like a really fun team. I mean, you know, the second, uh, like, I'm now two seasons on the Trot Plane Dwarves, so it's time I switched it up to something else. Um, and I haven't, I underpainted the models, but I hadn't touched them in months. And then over the weekend, I was a bit, I, I had the morbs a bit, and I was like, I'm going to paint this. So I sat down, had a great time working out the colour scheme. I'm really pleased with it. And um uh, yeah, that's what. So that's what I'm going with. But um, it is lovely to just sit down and just do one model. I still haven't finished my Sororitas kill team actually because I was doing that as a batch. So I've still got five or six models that are nearly there, but because it would take a few hours to finish them, I'm just not doing it. It's silly. So, um, uh, la 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 la. So, yeah, um, that's, that would be my advice, Wraith. And then Shoz the Great and Powerful has done a super chat saying, what are everybody's methods and tips for studying and note-taking? Um, they say only note what is important, but to me everything seems important. So what I always used to do when I was studying uh, was um, when I was making notes... I would make a second and sometimes even a third version of my notes uh, when it came to revising. Because a lot of the time, if you're making notes for the first time, you will write out more than you need to, or you'll write down a whole bunch of stuff. And then um, if you sit down and you're like, okay, 
my objective in making these notes is to make just a more condensed version of this information. To get the information across in fewer words, you'll quite naturally, with any luck, pick out what you do and don't include. Because a lot of the time, like, um, there will be facts that you associate with it that are already in there, or that will already come out if you read a certain sentence. You don't need the extra little bits. I hope that makes sense, but like, it's like, for example, if I were talking about uh, types of legislation in a, in like the Houses of Parliament or whatever, um, you know, it, it, during the course of like a term or whatever, when I was learning, it would be like, first it'd be like, what is a law? How does a what law work? What is a white paper? La 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 la. And then the further you go in, the more that, like, eventually you're taking notes where it's like, la la la, laws will be this, 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 this. You don't need the, you don't need the def definition of a law. You know what that is? That's already in there. So just kind of pare it down a little bit. Um, anyway, Eden Folk says falling asleep. Uh, Addy Yoko says I'm going to go have a nap. Have a great rest of the evening and stream all. Take care, Addy. Um, uh, I hope you're well. And yeah, good luck getting over the COVID. I hope it's not too too rough. And I'll catch you soon, hopefully. Paul Foxcroft says, actual paint question. Do you have a good technique for fancy plasma glows? Uh, I've never tried doing fancy plasma glows, annoyingly. I've only ever tried to do object source, source lighting once. And I was drunk when I did it. But it turned out okay. Um, so Paul, I don't know, but I know that there are some people in chat that will, um, I don't know if, uh, surely Jack would, they, they'll have something on this. There we go. Here we go. Base coat white and contrast paint, says Jack. Chaos says I have some very fancy plasma glow marines. I'm going to let chat field this one, Paul, because I will not be able to help as good as them do. That made no fucking sense. Would do. Will be able to do. Right. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get Egbert done before the end of this stream or before I run out of steam slash the ability to talk in coherent sentences. But we'll try. <laughs> At least these slashes are raised, so it's actually not that difficult to just block them in. They said. Now watch me absolutely fuck it up the wall. No, that's gone okay. All right. This kind of feels like a fancy, fancy egg, but. Titan Uranus has done a super chat. Oh, for fuck's sake. I had to read that twice, but Titan Uranus has done a super chat saying, would you call it the guano method when, rather than painting individual miniatures, you decide to batch it? <laughs> oh, I hate how much I like that. It's very good pun. Oh, those sleeves look lovely. Look at him. Oh, it looks great. It's, I don't know if you can tell on camera either, but like, he's got a really big grin on his face from this sculpt as well. 
I mean, you can't see now. I've turned him away, but that's to access this bit of the sleeve. Look at him. He looks delighted to be in this shirt. Kira Cox says, ooh, Hero Forge? Yes, indeed. Uh, Alex Simpkin, very, very kind viewer, sent these in. And I thought it's rude not to at least put a lick of paint on them. And so here we are. So, we're going to also paint up in a much more vibrant red these sticks of dynamite. I reckon, actually, we'll probably get Egbert done by the end of the stream, with any luck, anyway. Kind of feel like these might actually be bottles, but I'm going to paint them up as if they are dynamite sticks just for the visual coherence. Expressive Depressive has done a super chat saying, my friend and I are watching slash re-watching Ox Venture Blades in the Dark and loving it. We're both chronically ill and Casimir is a whole mood. And then a yellow heart and a white heart and a purple heart and a black heart. Thank you, that's really lovely. Um, I really love being Casimir. Um... He is, he feels like a whole mood to me as well, even though I'm uh, not chronically ill in that regard. Um, and I was very, very nervous about it at first. I was like, I, you know, I want this character to have this sort of, you know, um, physical sign of his involvement in the criminal underworld of Duskfall, of Volusport in the past. Um, and for that to form an obligation, which is his vice, because obviously it makes life uh, sometimes tricky for him. Uh, I was worried about it being bad rep, basically, but I'm very pleased that it seems to have gone over well. So, um, Corio Malayam has done a super chat saying, finally leaving work after 10 hours. Yikes. think I'm going to work on the Sabaton minis because uh, Jock's been half-painted for three months now. Corio, that sounds like a great idea for, for your evening. Um... Congrats on finishing out that shift. That's a long old, well, shift. Um, I hope you have a lovely time working on those minis. And thank you very much for the super chat and for being in chat as as ever. Okay. Okie dokie. For fuck. It's the problem with growing my hair out again. I start getting hair everywhere. It's fucking annoying. Sainted Karma has done a super chat saying, Have you ever thought about giving the Ox Guild broken enchanted items, sword of spells, spells the. Okay, hang on a minute. I need to pass this. Have you ever thought about giving the Otskill broken enchanted items? Sword of Spells. Spells the word sword on swinging. Cloak of Shadow. Your shadow has a cloak. <laughs> Chef Bag. Endless Scotch Eggs only. I haven't, but those are all excellent ideas um, that I wouldn't want to pinch because they are, you know what, they're fucking excellent and they've tumbled out of your brain and I don't want to, um, to take credit for them. But... Uh, I could always see what kind of holy cursed magic thing I could come up with. I mean, Egbert's cursed mace was good fun to come up with just on the spot. I like it when sort of random bits come to us like that. I guess that's the thing is that I never really plan for them to find specific items. And I quite like coming up with them in the spur of the moment, which means that they all often have a thing that's just a bit shit. So.
Okay. What's that painted up? We need to do a skin at some point, which is going to be really annoying. Lucanthia says, did you plan Marowan's cool bow that Egbert tossed? Nope. I did not. Not in the slightest did I plan that. Obviously, I planned the replacement. Yeah, <laughs> Harvey Dammit says the Bowie knife. Sing songs when used. Very good. Right. Boop, 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 ba doop. Oh, come on, contrast paint. Please behave. You're great when you work properly. And I've fallen in love with um, Contrast Wildwood over the last couple of days. It is a very good wood paint. Wildwood. That's what it says on the tin. Bang! And the elves are there. That's probably how the advert would go. Fairly certain. I don't think anyone's going to challenge me over that. New kitchen gun! <laughs> bang, bang, bang! Right. That's that. Um, am I going to be extremely lazy and just... No, no, I'm not. Ugh. Do the leather bits Fmia and the gauntlets, which I know extend sort of to the first knuckle. And then comes the Counterintuitive bit where we paint all of the Dragonborn skin brown to help the yellow pop. I have to say, I mean, like I've said, these aren't my best um, paint jobs that I've done. But if we get to the end of this and I've done four different colour schemes on four different miniatures, I shan't be displeased. That's fairly good going. That's what, like an hour a miniature? While also streaming and chatting shit. And getting up when they just rang the doorbell for no reason. Jan Pale says, see you all later, and I hope your evenings will go as exactly as you want them to. Good night. Take care, Jan. I hope you have a lovely evening also. What's everyone doing with their evenings, eh? I probably need to make dinner. How about that? That'll be exciting. I need to reply to whoever has just messaged me as well. My phone has been going off a lot during this stream, which is weird. Hopefully nothing terrible has happened.
Jack Wood says, Cuddling Dog. Nathaniel Lewis says, uh, Wisting My Mum in the Nursing Home. Oliver Morgan says, I'm getting ready to go to work. Naka the Kitty is still at work, just ate my lunch. Uh, Seth Paul says, Dinner, then need to write up some more stuff for my next D&D character. Argenta says, Trying to make a rock base for Mini. I find rock bases surprisingly difficult. I mean, I don't like basing anyway, but... Um, yeah, rock bases, I find, never turn out quite the way I like. So I hope yours turns out better than mine. Oh, chaos is contemplating a fish finger sandwich. Nom, 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 nom. Yes, please. Bloody love a fish finger sandwich. I'm really into sandwiches at the minute. I think it's because um, my wife's been working a lot and when she's not around, I cannot, cannot be bothered to cook properly for myself. If she's around, I'm like, what do you want to eat? I'll cook. Let's have dinner. Cooking is great. La, la, la. When she's not here, I'm I'm just like, is it bad if I eat cold beans straight from the can? I just default to just like trash pile disaster. So sandwiches are fucking great. Because, like, infinitely customizable. They don't feel as bad as cold beans from a tin. Sandwiches and I are really getting on at the minute. We're having a great time. It's the summer of, of interesting sandwiches for, for me. Uh, Saint Kid Karma's done a super chat saying, Ever tried an amnesia one shot? Players choose only one. That. Try this again. Ever tried an amnesia one shot? Players choose only alignment and name. DM. Chooses rest and rolls sheets. Players are given a blank sheet at the start and find out what or who they are and their modifiers throughout the narrative. That is interesting. Uh, no, I've never tried that. Thank you for the super chat, by the way, Saint Karma. But it does remind me of a concept I did work up that never actually got uh, broadcast at Dicebreaker um, called Ragnar the Wildly Unpredictable, where basically... All of the regular cast were adventurers who were in service to Ragnar, the great barbarian hero, who would wear a hat or a helmet that I actually have. Hold on, I even bought the helmet. The helmet of Ragnar, the wildly unpredictable. This is how people could track who was Ragnar between episodes. And, um... Oh, that's dirty. Um, the idea was that basically... Ragnar would be a different person every episode, but obviously because it was a completely different guest, and they'd be encouraged to play Ragnar however they wanted, Ragnar would be wildly unpredictable. So they'd be like... It was meant to be very good and funny, and then it never happened. Um, but um, it was actually quite comfortable over the headphones. Um, how do I... How do I... Come on. Um, it was a cute idea. But it just didn't happen. There we go. Now I'm wearing a helmet. Uh, Aiden Folk says, did the pandemic get in the way? No, we just did something else instead. But... Um, uh, it was a fun idea, but yeah, never got off the ground, really. And um, we weren't sure whether to let them reveal their stats or not. So. This is simultaneously very comfortable and not comfortable at all. It's quite compelling, actually. Paint just does not go on nicely. It's horrible. It's just snotty. <laughs> Chaos says that helmet with the headphones make you look makes you look like a golden age superhero whose power was being fired out of a howitzer to fight Nazis. I'll take that. Fuck yeah. My name's Howl Itzer. And I like two things. Um, uh, fighting Nazis 
and the fresh new beats of um, uh, Sophie and Stevens. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this thing's cutting off more oxygen to my brain than I thought. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> that got me at least. <laughs> uh, oh dear. Oh, good. It also got Jack Wood. Hooray! <laughs> uh, <laughs> Come on, let's get more of this down. I get the thumb and all. This dragonborn's not going to paint himself. <clears throat> Necker the Kitty, oh no, oh no. Necker the Kitty says, now all we need is a Tom Jones impression and the transformation will be complete. Oh God. I can explain the state that I'm in. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Yeah, okay, that was Tom Jones as Sophie and Stevens. Brought to you by me, Howl Itzer. Howl, Howl Itzer. Nazi fighting extraordinaire. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Right, so we need to let that yellow dry, which means it's time to, to freehand an excellent purple cow. It's really good I took a week off. You can tell I came back well rested. <sighs> Sam Walker says, It's not unusual to be fired from a cannon. -na 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 -na. That works really well, Sam. What was that about not wanting to um, alienate new viewers? Wait a fucking minute, is there? Sorry, give me a minute. Oh, never mind. Okay, thanks. Not on you, her phone, blah, 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 blah. That's purple, all right. Dylan Armadex says, can we get an official Johnny Chiodini painting helmet? Sure, I don't see why not. Safety's important. Even while painting. Nay, especially while painting. I laughed before I even put the uh, brush on the model. That's a good sign. <laughs> it looks like something straight out of Hollow Knight, doesn't it? I'll give it pupils. Is it a smile or a nose ring? Nobody knows.
Is this a stylistic choice or can I just not be bothered to get another paint on the palette? Red eyes. Okay, the cow looks boss-eyed. Or rather, it has a squint. That's fine. We'll just have to deal with it. Alarmingly, I think this is my best paint job all stream. Right, let's give it a quick, very quick second coat on the old skin. Throw some shade over the model. By which I mean use a wash. I'm trying not to use the term throwing shade because it is not my vernacular to use. But then we will shade the model and then we'll see. See how things go. Bovon says it's like looking in a mirror. There you go. I I like to think anyone would take take this person on as their uh, their paladin sort of patron. Rudy Gerber says, didn't Egbert have a shiny shield? Yes, but I've done it now. Also, this is wood panelled in the sculpt. So, he probably goes through shields at a rate of knots, in fairness. So I'm happy to turn a blind eye on that one. Or rather, I'm happy to look the other way. Come on, dry off yellow paint. So we've got Egbert here. Of course, we started off with Bismuth the Crone. It's kind of pally with Egbert, in fairness. They get on. Um, and we've got Rust on the Harbour. He very nearly took us to a dark place, to be honest, as I tried to highlight his face. I, to be honest with you, I still feel a bit funny when I look at him. And, uh, of course, we painted uh, Prudence. I think Egbert's my favourite sculpt. I've had the most fun painting this one. Mm, no, that's still got some drying to do. Adeline says, Yay, Johnny, glad to finally catch you live once. They're looking great. Thank you very much. Can we see the other sculpts, says Kira Cox. Absolutely. Here's the ones we didn't paint. Uh, here's Terrible Jake, the uh, the many headed goose. Uh, we've got Corazon here with a uh, spyglass and cutlass and a uh, neat pirate hat. We've got Dob. Just rocking out on the loot with the Hammer of Ethelfrith there. Um, we've got Hengist, the dwarf, who has the same hair as me, which is very, very pleasing. That's the Hammer Hammer there. This is a really bang on Hengist, actually. Uh, we've got Merylwen, the Wood Elf Druid, here with her trusty, trusty bow and her pointy, pointy ears. We've got, without the pearl head, we've got Casey Pearlhead looking ferocious with a knife hidden secretly. Um, Stephen Anderson says, Johnny, do you recommend one wash for the whole model or different washes for different materials? Different washes for different materials. I try and use flesh shade for the skin. Um, and then it depends what kind of look I'm going for, what other washes I use. Um... But also, there are times when, this is Seal Gaiman, obviously, uh, there are times when just using one wash is absolutely fine. I'm going to use Agrax Earthshade on this, because sod it, why not? Uh, this is Werebear Prudence, casting good old-fashioned Agonizing Blast. Excuse me. And then, of course, there's Binbag the Wizard. Um, and I'm going to take this off now, because it's actually getting wildly uncomfortable. Ah. Oops. 
how you pick. Okay. Adeline says, started a new job recently and I've been stressed out so much. Thanks for all the smiles and fun. Also, I have a giant seal plush called Seal Gaiman and he is the best boy, of course. Wonderful! That is excellent. Um, excuse me. Yeah. I'm sorry the new job is stressful, but um, uh, I hope it gets less so. Congrats on the new gig, either way. Um, Septimus1026 has done... A massive super chat, actually. Um, thank you very much, Septimus. That's very kind. Saying, all the models look fantastic. Can't wait to go back and rewatch the entirety multiple times. Thank you, Johnny and LSP. This stream went by far too fast. Yeah, it's gone really quick, actually. Um, and you know what? I actually quite like the way the yellow is sitting on the model without a shade. So I'm going to shade the rest of it. Maybe just the body and the, the metal, actually. Not even going to shade the wood of the shield, because that purple... It's already quite dark, but we're just going to add a bit of contrast in here. If I had more time or if I were not trying to, or if I hadn't been trying to get these painted to an okay standard just to get through as many as possible on stream, I could do all sorts of highlighting on this. But as it is, just a bit of shade will help highlight the, um, the recesses and really sort of increase the contrast in the model. So there we go. Anonymous says no all you, anonymous excuse me says now all you need is sixty skeletons and a flaming skull and the bones of a of a donkey. Um oh god. Sixty skeletons is a batch paint job that I do not want to take on anytime soon. I abandoned my um Nighthorn army very early on in the uh process. Well, actually over halfway through, which is the gutting thing. But um yeah. I'm good for that, to be honest with you. But there we go. There's Egbert, Egbert the Careless, Dragonborn Paladin, all painted up nicely. Oh, goodness. That's a big yawn, which isn't professional. Um, so I think that is my cue to call this stream to an end. Thank you, everyone. It's been weird. It's been, um, it's been a lot of fun. Um, I've been slightly uh, off the wall during the whole thing, but then... To be honest with you, I always feel like apologising, being like, I'm sorry I've been so weird. Um, but then people are always just like, that's kind of how it is every time. So at some point, um, the apologies just start to read like false modesty. So um, I'm not sorry for my conduct during the stream whatsoever. Um, if you don't like it, um, you don't have to come back. <laughs> no, wait, that's too far. Uh, thank you very much for watching, is what I mean. And I do hope you do come back. Um, because I love doing this as a job. Um, it's very, very nice. Um, but I wouldn't be able to do it if it weren't for you nice people. So um, you literally decide whether or not I get to do this for a living, and I appreciate it when you decide to show up. So, um, yeah, thank you again, everyone. Um, usual things, I have a Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini. Don't yawn when you're doing the Patreon plug. There's a link to the Patreon in the uh, description of this stream. Um, uh, and yeah, I will be back on Thursday with a game stream and then Presley Chiodini returns on Saturday. So there's plenty for you to watch uh, coming up this week. There's plenty for you to watch already on the channel. Um, so much stuff. Previous Let's Play series, previous live streams, um, videos about crisps, videos about party foods. There's a lot of, lot of weird shit on this channel. And you know what? I, I like doing it. So thank you all again very much. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day, however much is left. And I will catch you very soon. Thank you and farewell.